All right, everybody, we tried to do an intro and it was muted, so now you can hear us. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we are almost set up here, just had a little bit of technical difficulty, had to restart the computer. Um, but yeah, I am here, as you can see, with uh, Kelvin Tiberius and Sozin of the Scum and Villainy podcast, two of the coolest pirates I know. And Let's just uh, go ahead and say best Twitch cast uh, duo in a plus, plus a Lyle. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, plus right? a, thanks, guys. Plus a Lyle. Plus a Lyle, right? Like that's like bonus. <laughs> and look, and hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't. I don't know for sure if that's Lyle. You can't. You can't prove it to me. That looks like anonymous man five thousand. Um, you can't tell because of the hat and the sunglasses and the fact that his name tag says Inigo Montoya. So I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right. So well, you know. You guys Before, go ahead. All right. You, you got to get set up, right? Yeah, I'm going to get set up. You guys talk. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Holonet. This is your friend, Kelvin Tiberius. Um, so, Lyle, I, I uh, saw beforehand that you that you had sunglasses on, and I felt jealous. And so I have uh, a couple of options here. I've got uh, green, right? Green's a strong color. No, not green. All right, I've got, like I've got blue. Eh? Maybe too close to mine. You need some, some yeah. differentiates. Yeah, yeah. How about like, uh, a, a, you know, electric green, maybe? Eh? That's and, good. That's the one. And then yeah, I've got. The then I hold up. I've also got Elton John. <laughs> Like uh, everything's available. This is the sort of content that you asked for, Dion, when you brought us on. This is this, this is, is what perfect. we do. This is what we bring. We bring the hype. X Wing? What? Is that is that what we're doing? Um <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm gonna go with electric green. Just because I want to be cool like Lyle. Um, all right, so thanks for Hold having on, us on. I, I, you you didn't let me answer your question, pal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, the Russians and the Chinese are after me right now, and I'm a little concerned that if my actual, you know, face and hair gets on video, that they'll be able to triangulate my GPS coordinates and send that hit squad after me. So, All unfortunately, right. you know, I gotta, I gotta keep it cloaked, or the, you know, neural networks that are running image recognition software are gonna figure out, kill me. All right. So, on a scale of like, what percentage? Do you guys think is actually legit with Lyle there? Because I guarantee you it's above 1%, right? <laughs> Lyle's at least 15% serious, I think. On, yeah, like some of this is joking clearly, but uh, on the flip side, Lyle's like, do, do you really need to record my face? Like, I'm not really into that. <laughs> you see, yeah. you can see it. <laughs> I'm not paranoid, Ricky. I'm ultra annoyed. Oh man! All right, so uh, Dion, thanks for cup for having us on, man. I'm I'm stoked. I'm ready. We've been looking forward to doing this for like six months. Absolutely. I mean, like I I, I had to get my Ricky fill in. Had to do it. Hey, uh, these guys are ready, by the way. Okay, we can tell them to. We can tell them to start setting up uh, in the... Oh, they're all good to go. They've actually, they've already played the first four asteroids and then have rewound it while they're waiting for us, so... Okay, well, uh, how, about, how about this? <laughs> I'm going to tell them, I'm going to give them three minutes. We'll introduce the show, and then we'll start. Sounds good. And i got to tell my watch to give us give me a three-minute countdown in one second. May I please have a three-minute countdown? <laughs> like, a, like a spy and shit. <laughs> I use the Australian voice for Siri. I, I, I'm a fan. All right, let's do it. So it's your show, man. All right, guys. So we have a great matchup for you today. We are in the deep core of the Vassal League. If you're not aware of what the Vassal League is, we have the Kamish himself. He is Roger Goodell, but less shitty. So <laughs> Okay. Hey, everybody. So, technically, I think that maybe Earthworm is the Kamish. Okay. Um, but I'm the commission behind the commission. You're like the backup, like commish, like when he's on vacation and someone's got to make a decision. But you're there. 
right? Like it's you're saying, like I'm, I'm the mastermind, and he is he is my agent of implementation. Oh, I mean, God. you know, Kyle gets it done. That dude, I mean, he gets it done with Vassal League. Uh, I met Kyle uh, f- like finally in person at Worlds, and he is a treasure of a person. Like, is absolutely just super nice, super intelligent. I love him. It's like a whole well, lot. I mean, him and Dion, I would hold up as, you know, two real pillars of the community in terms of the contribution they make. Yeah, I want, like, Dion, I want to give you, like, a permanent hug. Like, that's, I feel like you deserve that. Like, I feel like you deserve, and I give good hugs, too. I believe Like, I wish, I wish you could have, like, a permanent hug for me all the time. <laughs> like need to, I just, we need to work on that sort of technology. Sozin, get on that, all right, buddy? Mm-hmm. Um, well, you got one minute left until we start. All right, everybody. Well, we, we have a, a great matchup for you here today. Uh, you can see the list on the right. You have the uh, the Vassal cards there. We have, um, I guess, who is who we have here? Player one is playing Thweek, right? So we got... Sorry, I'm having a, I'm two screen in here. Catchy Slime is playing Thweek. Slim. Slim. Right. Slim. Sorry, not Slime. Sorry, dude. He uh, <laughs> he's got Thweek. Uh, break those cards down for me, Ricky. He's got Thweek with the uh, Internal Dampeners, Auto Thrusters, Fire Control Systems, and the Star Viper Mark II title, which is my first time actually seeing the title in action. So. I'm uh, pretty stoked about that. He's got a contracted scout with trick shot, I am projector and intelligence agent, which is he I guess planned to be a blocker. And then he's got a shadow part hunter with burnout slam, rig cargo shoot, and K4 security droid. And he's coming in at 96 points, so he was hoping for an initiative bid. Slow dive has uh, four Karthak pirates, all PS1, which I am. The total PS on that on that on that list is four. That's amazing. Uh, and he's got a Karthak with the two with the long range sensors and intelligence agent, one with auto blaster turret and long range sensors, and finally one with havoc collision detector and long range scanners. So, my first take is that Catchy Slim was looking for a good sort of low PS blocker. And slow dive just came right underneath them with the PS, and that's going to be really interesting to see how that sort of plays when one wanted to block, and now he's going to have to figure out, you know, how to play at a higher PS when most of the time I imagine he's a lower PS. So, yep. And then, uh, like you said, uh, we and then we have uh, the other player whose name I have right here. Sorry. Slow dive. Slow, slow dive. Slow sorry. Dive. Drive yeah. or dive? Dive. Slow dive. Dive. And slow dive. he has those four Karthak pirates. Uh, two of them with Intel Agent. All of them have long range scanners. We got uh, one with Auto Blaster turret and one with Collision Detector because why not? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, having that low PS comes right under that scout. This scout is an ace in this game. <laughs> um comparatively and it's interesting yeah yeah and the funny is like that's 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 th- you know uh that's three quarters of uh, the other team's ps in one ship yep mm. and then ah. uh, here- all right ah. so boys i'm gonna jump in because the guys are about ready to start um do it in real life slow dive is wade stover he lives in des moines iowa he took top 16 at worlds this year running triple scouts uh i took number two in the omaha regionals last year and uh is ranked number six in the U.S. according to the um, the national rankings. That's low dive. On the other side is Catchy Slim. Is Andrew Latorell. He uh, finished day day two on Worlds, and he also won the uh, prestigious FFG Headquarter Regional Championships. Very hard to win that one. A lot of excellent players show up. Uh, both these players actually they're kind of a very neat story. They both started out in the furthest bottomest part of the league, the unknown reaches, which is tier five, the very bottom of the league. And over the course of the five seasons of Vassal, they've made their way up through the divisions slowly from the outer rims into from the unknown reaches to the outer rims, from outer rims to inner rim, inner rim to deep worlds, and finally here to deep core. They've actually played once before. They both were in the inner rim Manning division back in season three. They finished one, two, and Catchy Slim beat Slow Dive to take first in the division. Uh, Slow Dive finished second, and they both advanced up to the core worlds. 
uh, Catchy Slim went to Corellia and Slow Dive went to Kuat. So both these guys have won their right to be in deep core the hard way. They've gone all the way through the ranks here in Vassal League. It's a tremendous story. It's the first time they've been in deep core. I think we're going to get an amazing game. I'm hyped up about it. Absolutely. This is going to be great. This is going to be a great game. All right. Let's tell them we get started. Cool. So, so Lyle, like, what do you think about this matchup? Like, my first thought process is, you know, kind of like blockers versus uh, how does uh, how does Catchy Slim sort of react to being not the blocker and, and not the aggressor in 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 this matchup? Well, I think he's not going to be happy with the fact that the week is useless. That's my, I think, my first observation. And second, he's up against so many hit points. I mean, how many hit points do we have on the table here for Slim? 40. 40? 40 <laughs> hit points. Yeah, that's a lot. How are those ships small base? I still don't get it. Yeah, the little point tanks, point boxes. So he, he – now, the good news is that all the ships that he have are fairly maneuverable. So he can, he can avoid getting blocked if he's smart. And so I think his play here is to not get blocked, to try to, try to flank and get around the, the, um, the pirates, and then slowly just kind of nibble away at them and play the slow waiting game that, that a lot of modern X-Wing is. You know, these two-player lists, these three-player lists are a bunch of dicking around, frankly, waiting for your moment. So I suspect what we're going to see here is a lot of slow play from the Pirates. He's going to go really slow. He's going to do one forge, and he's going to wait to get his run. He's going to wait for the run to show up. And then eventually we're going to get a crisis moment where the Pirates will have to make their move. And if he guesses wrong, and then he's going to get flanked. And if he guesses right, he'll get his block, and it'll be maybe game over. So that's my prediction on how the opening is going to play out. Awesome. For everybody watching at home, you do see uh, the lists on both sides. You also have the chat in the top right corner, as well as the dice will show up on the mat on the top left. So don't worry. We're going to have it there for you when they start rolling these dice so you know what's going on. Yeah, so I'm I'm pumped here. For 40 hit points, this week is useless. Um, but <laughs> yeah, you know what? Like, well. We might it's still like higher PS though, right? I mean, it, it's still you can use that. It is in this game. It is the ace, right? I mean, if effectively what it's done is it it is taken the highest pilot skill possible. But the advantage it has here is that it does not have simultaneous fire with anything. So in the uh, in the event that it does get to kill something, it doesn't get to shoot back. So that's an advantage there. Yep, agreed. It's kind of funny that Tweak's an ace, right? Yeah. I mean, but Tweak likes to be an ace because of the other half of his pilot ability, right? Which where he can get the top PS if it wants. Yep, exactly. So we have getting set up here. Deciding where to put that Shadowport Hunter. And you know, it's interesting. You don't see the Shadowport Hunter used very often. It's the lowest PS. Um... Lancer class pursuit craft. It comes in starting at thirty three points, pretty hefty price. But you do get ten hit points. That uh, pseudo turret, the mo with the mobile arc, uh, and he's got that thing just really kitted out. All kinds of toys in there. He's got K four. He has tons of greens. Right. He's going to be getting target locks left and right. Um, that one get out of jail free card with the um, with the uh, what's the thing called burnout slam. And uh, a rig cargo, which could come into effect here because the Skurg doesn't have great greens. So if you could drop it in a good spot, get some stressed out, and prevent them from being able to turn around for a turn and do some damage on that uh, when that happens. That could be a, a possibility. All of the Skurgs are running bla auto blaster turret, right? Like hold Only up, one. Look at this. Only one. So, so the rest are just using their main gun. Mm -hmm. So there is dodge potential there. So a, a point about the setup, because I think we can see how the next three or four moves are going to go. The pirates have given themselves two lanes, really three lanes if they want it, but they can either cut through the middle of the asteroid field from south to north, or they can um, cut left and then cut right again. So he's got a lot of options for sort of picking where he wants the, the initial conflict to occur, which is good. I think that 
the asteroids actually work out well for the pirates because of that. Whereas on the other side, Kachi, excuse me, the other side, yeah, Kachi is going to try to bait. I think he's going to bait with that contracted scout and try to take sniper shots with his turret and, and he's going to play the range range control game. While he's baiting with them, he'll try to flank with the other two. He's going to have some issues with blocking with all of those intel agents that are on the other side of the board. Yeah, I mean, t two intel agents going to be a big deal. But uh, he does have two large base ships that can move pretty fast. You know, when you see a scout being used for blocking, it just takes up so much real estate. Small base ships... He might be able to use that four and five forward on the Lancer, the four forward on the Scout, in order to get some space there. Thweek, I mean, if he gets caught in the bad spot, we, he, that will probably be the end, be the end of him. But uh, he's probably going to want to keep uh, keep Thweek on the outside, not really in the mix here. Well, I mean, it's the Mark II, right? So he's got all of those weird abilities that he can pull off. So there is that. Mm hmm. And uh, just. Uh, Going, uh, replying to the chat here, Twitch chat. Uh, somebody said Intel agent doesn't matter. In this is correct. In uh, in catchy Slim's list on the contracted scout, the Intel doesn't matter. It matters on um, on the yeah. uh, on the slow dive mm -hmm. side because he can react to the the dials there. That's exactly PS1s. right. I love seeing PS one. That's like my favorite style of list is something that can go in early and block and muck stuff up. Prototypes. Yeah. Prototypes are, I mean, really anything below PS4 uh, is, and even PS4 can be legitimate blockers in this meta now. Which is why I run PS3. So he's just straight up trying to make himself difficult to block with that uh, Jumpmaster. Yeah, he's, he's turning away. He's going to try to leverage that turret. I mean, the Skurgs have one dice. Uh, two dice turret can actually do some work against those dice. Try to okay. control range and uh, try to stay only in range of one at a time, hopefully, because he does not, does not want to take four guns on that scout. Those of you at home, hopefully you're having a good time, having a beer with us. You know, Galactic Theater 5000 is all about just chilling, we're basically hanging out at the at the uh, intergalactic game store, watching some guys play games, and shooting the breeze. So, don't take every, anything too seriously here today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought the right people to be with you, man. That's right. If yeah, if you didn't want to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the show of this one, like the podcast. Of you know, we can be even though know, we're gonna talk about good stuff, but you know, it's. It, this is definitely less formal. Yeah. I feel like I should be drinking. I'm going to go get something. Beer. Oh, oh, yeah. I, brought, I literally have two beers in front of me. That way I, can, uh, I don't have to leave to go get another one. Boom. So, uh, Dion, you see, the, uh, see that uh, galaxy picture in the background? Yeah. So that's uh, going to be where my kid's uh, crib is. We're, we're painting up uh, a uh, galaxy little thing in the background. You that's see here, I can good. probably... There you go. I can probably see it a little better. So, pretty neat. That's... Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Got the kid coming and all that. The daughter, right? Yeah, daughter. Two months, man. Yeah. Two months. Well, you'll be you'll be in the club. Sozin's got yeah. a daughter. I got a daughter. Then you'll have a daughter. That's right. We can all be stressed right. out when they get older together. It'd be great. Uh, that's great. <laughs> all right, so we got dials down here, and we're gonna be flipping here. Let's see where the scourges do. What do we think, guys? Gonna be going coming fast, probably trying to get into that uh, open space between those two rocks on the bottom. Yeah, it's a weird setup. Like where he is in in relation to that uh, that asteroid, I guess forces him to either, you know, go straight and then, you know, really start just chasing. I guess or hard turning and then, 
giving him the opportunity to be flanked. Although I guess he's mostly going to be safe because the the opposition doesn't have uh, any real paths to go after him. You know, one thought I had, and this might be a little bit crazy, with mm-hmm. the setup that um, that catchy, not catchy, that slow drive, slow dive has with his four uh, Karthak pirates, he has mm-hmm. what looks like to be enough space to probably do his talent roll towards mm-hmm. the outside and come back if uh, that shadow port hunter or contracted scout come back around. Mind you, look, my vast. I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too much into the. Why the hell does that thing have a talon roll? But yeah, you just reminded me of that, and it just made me sad inside. <laughs> Every time, it's like, why? Why does it have a talon roll? Yep, because it seems. I mean, his spacing's really intentional. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I think the, my theory is that this ship is their power game upmanship, brinksmanship play to the jump master. Rather than fix the jump master, they created a ship that was more powerful. This is the Jump Master Killer. And that's why it's got six upgrade slots, seven upgrade slots, more than the Jump Master, which at the time the Jump Master was like number one in terms of total upgrade slots. This thing got, has got it beat. It's got more hit points. It's got a, more attack dice. It's got more, I mean, it, it's not as good of a blocker because it's not a large space ship um, and it doesn't have a white sloop. But it's PS1. I mean, this ship is crazy. It is bananas. I don't know how this thing got through playtesting. <laughs> <laughs> Other than it's the answer to the jump master, right? That's the only answer I got. And fight fire with fire, right? Yeah, I mean, I think the issues like uh, your imperial players are going like, but what about me? I I want toys too. That's that's gonna be Kylo though, right? I mean, it kind of sucks with PS10 Nim running around. Eh. But you at least have a chance with an advanced sensors Kylo to maybe probably not get bombed. And yeah, Nim can suddenly be PS zero with Kylo running around. Exactly. So that's not exactly a super issue. Oh, so one thing that I always um, one thing that I always do when I'm lower PS, and I, I kind of wonder why this wasn't done is when I do setups, I almost always try and set up two lanes for uh, my lower PS ships, because I don't know where my opposition is going to set, whether they're going to set across from me or if they're going to set uh, in the opposite corner. So I always try and set up two lanes to where I'll set up sideways to where I can either go straight or hard turn in for a joust. And I always wonder why, um, why, these low pilot skills, like pi- or, or you know, players will face forward uh, in doing that. It's almost the rule that I almost always do, and I haven't really spent a lot of time talking about it. So, do you guys have any like thoughts on that? Like, am I crazy or? Well, I mean, nope. so you're talking about kind of the art of jousting? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're gonna run, if you're gonna run low pilot skill, I almost always want to make sure that I can react to where you place. Uh, and so when I set up, and by setting up forward, when someone sets up on the opposite side, you're forcing yourself to have to sort of deal with the whatever the asteroid situation is in the middle, instead of like a pure sort of head-on in a lane joust. Right, and that's why I actually like how the asteroids are here for slow dive because he's got a clear lane yeah he's back. got he he's just... got a bunch of clear lanes in, in reality yeah. but yeah, he could he could I... take all four of those ships and go wherever he wants to on this map he's got he's got everything and just to remind you people who are watching home we're not the ones playing we're just observing this game these guys agreed to play on on camera i don't know what we want to call it streaming and uh so just enjoy the game and we're just talking stuff about x-wing keep going yep. guys <laughs> So, uh, that's my first time seeing that barrel. That's fun. Uh, is, who's the the interceptor that can do that? It's not, is it Laurier? A bad one? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Laurier. <laughs> like, Laurier just, like, shed a thousand tears just now, like, watching this. Just like, what? He didn't get a stress? <laughs> Every time I pull that, I have to worry about my wife and kids. <laughs> no, yeah. He's got great health insurance, man. 
Imperial Health Insurance is premium. Well, especially because he's ne- he's never sent the out black sun, anymore. the black sun, and but you know you're in a criminal organization, but their health insurance is primo, so you still do it. Yeah, why not? Uh, no, I think actually the Imperial Health Insurance is good. I bet the um, the Scum Health Insurance is terrible. Yeah, okay, but it's Black Sun though. You don't think the Black Sun has good health insurance? I mean, it's probably like Cobra level, I guess. I mean. <laughs> This is like this is the discussion you get on uh, Friday uh, Friday theater or whatever. Intergalactic theater hey man, I'm, five thousand. I'm, I'm live casting again. I can't chat. Okay. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye, person on the phone. Bye. Bye. He's busy. Dude, that was my phone. That was my. Cal- Calvin watch loves answering you. That phone call. That was your what? My watch answering that phone call. Oh. That was pretty yeah. cool. It's like we're here, man. We're in the future. I've got a watch phone. It's what I always wanted. The year and 5, jetpack, and flying car. <laughs> and I see somebody here who says that they're watching our show today from a game store. That's awesome. Watching X-Wing and talking about X-Wing while playing X-Wing. That's that's, that's, that's the life, man. That's how you do it. Like If you have like like TVs in your in your game store that you could hook up to a computer, you should totally put the show on there. And put the audio through the monitors in the store. This is fine. We'll keep it mostly safe. <laughs> Boy, it really does. This lane situation is seriously look, uh, working out well for the pirates. That's that's uh, slow dive. Like every time I look at this, the more I think that his movements are going to be predictable for about the next two turns if he engages. And if not, it just keeps pushing them into that corner. And that in and of itself makes it predictable. Yep. And it looks okay. So Go sorry guys, a really important point. Tyler's watching the stream and he says that Imperials have terrible health insurance that they, yeah. the TIE fighters didn't get life support. They've got no health insurance on them. Oh, okay. Same question though, but what about, out their payments they get when they die. Does the family get money, Tyler? How about life insurance? <laughs> well, see, now, hold, wouldn't it be, actually, wouldn't it be who, so if, if they're being like a, a bad corporation, right, like they're trying to save money, you give them good health insurance but crappy life insurance because they don't, they don't live long enough to use the health insurance and they don't get that much money with the life insurance. That's how the empire would probably do it. He says that he says the death benefits are good. The death benefits are good. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So it looks but like the, that, you call them a corporation. Look at this, this, look at this setup. Are they a corporation or a government? Look uh, at this right, crazy good gotcha. setup for. Sorry, I, I know we're, I know we're on a tangent. I'm just like purpose. I'm, <laughs> right now I'm stoked. Look at this setup for uh, for the Skurgs. He can react to every. Uh, every situation now, like well, he, potentially, potentially. I mean, he could get flanked because if he goes straight, he could get flanked on the left side. If he goes left, he could get flanked on the right side. I mean, isn't there a potential flank here? Yeah, who do you deal with? I mean, if if it were me, oh boy, I think I would probably. Ooh, look at that! He didn't turn in. Uh, That's. That's I, I think you go after. He's the going. Battle he's port. going. Now he goes left. <laughs> yeah, go to you the. Go, okay, you would go after the shadow port. I would try and herd uh, Thweek. Although I guess he doesn't have any sort of guaranteed damage. He's just making shots, and so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean he has he has a perfect lane there. I mean unless uh, Catchy takes the shadow port hunter and like turns it away through the rock, which isn't, I mean, isn't too crazy. He's, he has to. He's I think it's got, a good move. The hard right three here is is the right move. He's got to be kind of herded here. Oh, you know what? He does have a slam, though. He does got the slam. So he, so can, he can get out. Get, get around. Try to get around. Oh, good point. Right, so he's... Out. So he's almost trying to pull into it, although he would, he can't slam if he's uh, if he's blocked. But, I mean, who's to say that he's going to block him? Right, they're Interesting. Gonna, they're going to check range for combat. I don't think they have range. But they, Sorry. I, mean, I thought there was a shot on the shadow point to number three. 
Yeah. It definitely looks like that's going to be a little bit closer. Yeah, scouts out for sure. The arc is turned to the left, right? He should be just in. Yeah. No, nah, man, he's got to have. He's got to have the week if he wants it. There it is. All right, there it is. So range three, through a rock. This would be uh, three on three. And uh, Shadowport has a focus. Those dice will pop up on the top left of the screen. So we got focus hit blank. blank. Debating whether to spend it or not. You should spend it. You should. Yeah. Oh, he had a target lock. Oh, nice. He had a target lock. So we roll that to a crit. Look at that. Three blanks. You got it. Ooh, all right. That's two that's, uh, two shields. That's there. a good way to that's a good way to start. Mm-hmm. How is that ship how is that ship a small base? It still bugs me. <laughs> like I've seen the layouts of, I've seen the layouts on that thing. They're the same size as the YT twenty four hundred. My inner Star Wars lore geek is bothering me. There you go. It's a, this might be a decent trade. Two hits, two on three, but the Shadow Port does have a focus. There it is. Nice. Natties. The dice don't lie. Natties. Okay, I have to ask. Are Natties all dice? Like, when does it not be Natties? Like, you, you should roll three no, out of four. Don't, is don't it do this to yourself. Lyle, Lyle, don't. Don't get sucked in. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to understand the math behind it. <laughs> there is no <laughs> math behind Natties. If you get out of it, if you get out of it, just out of okay. dice, it's Natties. That works. That works. That's a good definition. Yeah. Like, I think my craziest experience with Natties, this was maybe about a month ago, I was playing a casual game with a buddy of mine. I rolled uh, something. It was 15 out of 16 crits in the first engagement. Uh, and this is that he had uh, he had blocked crits? the bunch. You said crits? Yeah, I said crits. Crits, yes. Okay. It was ridiculous. And he... He very calmly said, Dion, I think I'm done for the day, and left the store. He just, he couldn't. He just, and he left. I love you, Robert, if you're watching. Uh, it was no, I would have grabbed your ass, gone to the local convenience store, and had you buy me a lottery ticket. That's what I would have done. <laughs> just go gambling. I mean, that's like, we're going. fun. Me and you, Dion, right now. I want to, hold up. Just just asking for a friend. Um, does Minnesota have uh, casinos? Well, you know he's in Chicago, so I know. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but I know. I'm talking about been... Fort, but but D oh, D's on D's on it. He's thinking, he's thinking. Uh-huh. But do they have? Uh, does Minnesota have ca- casinos? Anybody know? Just asking for a friend. Let us let us know. Twitch chat slash YouTube chat. By the way, there's two chats. There's YouTube and Twitch because some people prefer one. I figured out how to stream to two things at once, and it's working. So that's good. Dude, you're a pimp, man. You're a super pimp. I- I'm on uh, Twitch, by the way. If someone else has YouTube, cool. I got I got them both up. So cool here. Uh, the answer is yes. Thank you, Diamond King. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm not making plans to kidnap uh, kidnap you guys at all, but uh, there you go. Just leave that. Just be ready, no at worlds. No plans at all. Mm-hmm. Sneak attack will not be expected. Mm-hmm. They said several casinos. All right. Well, I've actually, true story, never been to a casino. Ha! <laughs> might change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you ever been to a cat house, Dion? Say it again. Just kidding. I said, you ever been to a cat house? No, I actually have not. I have not. I expected the answer to be no. Yeah. I haven't either. Really. I'm, I'm pretty wholesome. Uh,. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not even gonna dodge. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not wholesome. Um, I'm just look. I I understand the unwokeness of it, but whatever. Um, anyways, let's jump into where the hell are these guys gonna move? I think the easiest. This is this kind of feels crazy, but the easiest. No, man. There's. Let's, let's got, talk about I'll, how... I'll, let's, I'll break it down for you. I think I've got it down. What a great positioning uh, for... You know, initially I, I was really excited for the Pirates, but in retrospect, there's nothing that you can wrangle here. There's no wrangling. I, I don't I don't like the position of the... 
of the Shadow Poor Hunter. Like, if he doesn't three hard through that rock, or it doesn't use Burnout Slam to get behind, if the pirates all, if the top two go two to the left, and then you bank uh, with the back ones, just in case that scout comes in next, like, next turn, depending on his position and it bar- its barrel roll, uh, I, think, mm-hmm. I think it could be bad news for the, the Shadow Poor Hunter, but we'll see what he does. Can you get a block on that three bank? For the shadow port? Yeah, on the shadow port. From the from the Skurgs. None of them have vision. No. So yeah, I mean he's he probably has that uh, he he's got that uh, boost move if he needs it, not boost, a slam move if he if he wants it. So I mean, I think with this position, it's kind of a classic it's a classic position because the jouster has to now pick a direction. If the jouster goes left and, and hunts the hunter, then he's potentially leaving his right flank open towards fourth week. If he goes straight and you know sort of tries to hedge his bets, then he's taking a risk that the shadowborn hunter isn't doesn't have a three left bank dialed in. And finally, if he goes, I mean, I don't think going right is realistic, but if he if he goes right hard and decides to gun for Thweek and give everything he can to go kill, kill Thweek, he's going to get flanked by that hunter and the scout. So, I mean, me, I would probably go kill Thweek. I would see that I've got Thweek cornered, and I would just make hard rights, go murder him, and then turn back around and kill the scout. That's a ballsy move. Right, what do you guys do? That's a ballsy move. Yeah, I, mean, I, I like killing chips though. So if I see the opportunity to do it, especially a high one like the week, I'll take it. This is true, especially if he's going to play KG with him. It, it, you know, we talked at the at the beginning saying that he's going to he should try to keep Thweek on the outside, just kind of pew pewing and not get. It does feel like Thweek has the easiest. Uh, you can build the easiest cage. Yep. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if, you, if you can get him in there, that's going to be bad. So yeah, maybe turning to the right is the, is the right idea. All right, both guys are set. We'll see where those pirates go next. And for those of you counting at home, this is turn. He's going four, left. Three. Look at that. He's, he's going after the hunter. Yeah. He's so going, he's going, going to probably bank with the bottom two, like you said, Ricky. Uh huh. Okay, hmm. maybe barrel roll to the outside. Yep, there it yes. is. Asteroids don't concern him. He wants to kill that hunter. He's just going for it. Yep. Probably one bank with this guy, or just two bank. One bank, okay. Uh, th- somebody asked, is this time? It is not time. Vassal League has a 19-turn clock, so the 19th turn is the last turn of the game. There it is. So you either need to slam a jam out of there, uh, and bump up one the slam, then take one shot from the bottom. Actually, no, I think he's still he's still going to get three shots. It's not going to be pretty. He's going to get swamped here. <laughs> if you see in the vassal chat, they say hello, <laughs> hello, gorgeous. How you doing? So that three hard away would have been uh, would have been great. So, uh, here's a thought I have, and then now it's gone. I actually, I lost it, guys. It's, <laughs> a, it's all right. <laughs> so, I had a thought, and then, and then just like, like, just through the wind, like a fart in the wind, it's gone. <laughs> Maybe it's the beer. Hey, um, I have a thought. Dion, they're asking if you could turn the vice, dice volume down. Um, and, um, good idea. Let me try. That's a, let me try how, let me try that. I'm not sure. Is there a vassal setting to turn off the dice sound? Turn off. Yes. All right. So that's what we'll probably have to do. Sounds. Uh, general. Not general. Chat window. Oh no, dude! You've got to turn it off through the system sound. You can't. You can't control it through Vassal. Ah. So the answer is no. We cannot. <laughs> we cannot do that right now. Because can you I, tweak its uh, settings? Are you using OBS or what are you using? Yeah, I'm using OBS, but so my entire computer's output 
volume is coming through OBS. So it's not yeah. individual channels. I can turn down the individual sound, but then the, your guys' volume is going to go down too. It's the master control. Yeah. yeah. The, the one thing I keep thinking about right now in this situation is the fact that, I mean, we're going to see probably a lot more shots from the Pirates than the Week Squad. I mean, this week's going to have to be ultra aggressive to get any shots in here. Does a three hard get uh, in range? A three hard right? Maybe with a boost or something. Well, he did a two turn, so he, he's going to be short. Uh, so we're going to have some uncontested shots. We did get the K4 security droid onto the red pirate. He's going to take some damage on the red one. Uh, the question is, if you roll a focus on defense with that red one, do you just keep the focus and you just pound with that range one attack and you just keep it? Ah, he got a shot. How about that? Oh, sure did. Okay. I mean, this. I don't think this is going to be... I, I, would, I would be surprised if they concentrate fire on that on, on that Scourge, but yeah. still, that's that's not nothing. I have Great. to, like, not use my sunglasses. I don't know why you're doing this, Lyle, but I'm just doing this in support of you. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. It's because they're prescription, and they had their tint, they're coated with a certain type of um, coat that makes monitor glare not a thing. So they're very comfortable to look at a monitor glare. All right. Oh. It takes one shield through that rock. It doesn't I just look good in these. Because... True. And I don't. Oh, so he got a shield off him? Got a shield. Uh, here comes the scout, probably going at the red one as well. It would be my guess to try to focus fire a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about it. Scout doesn't have any modifiers. He does have trick shot on the red. Here we go. Three on three. Natty. So hit, hit, crit. That is so dirty. <laughs> All right, get to evade. A couple more shields here. And here comes the Shadow Port Hunter. Some crits could be bad here, but of course he does, you know, those have to be natties. God damn. He does get the, he got the target lock. Mm. Ooh, mm. Three, that hit. does, three hits. That crit. does that does not feel good. Oh, he's that, that, that's a debate. That is a serious debate. He, he wants to spend it, but he's he taking ate it. it. You know how this works now, right? He's not going to roll a focus. I've seen this movie before. <laughs> he's going to roll a direct hit. I've seen this movie oh. before. What is it? Structural damage. Structural damage. That is agility, zero. Agility Agility's one. overrated anyway. So especially with these guys, it doesn't matter. I mean, he could have drawn a direct hit there and died. Yeah, that could have been. That could have been bad. <laughs> that was a very risky play on his part. I would have spent the focus. No, he's got he's got uh, two hit points left, right? If he drew a direct hit, it would be one hit point one. left. I think blind blind. Oh, yeah, okay. Worse than I that. thought it was a two and drawing the card. Okay, yeah. All right, good. All right, so he would have been a one. I can math. Oh, he's shooting back. Look, only one. He's got nothing. Oh. Nothing there. Oh, that is brutal. If the hunter can dodge all this, it will have paid off for him. Hit crit. He's going to spend the focus to avoid the damage. Focus. So far, so good. Range one here. He's got to make it count. Okay, okay. Everything feels better now. There you go. There you go. All right, so he's got some work in there. Uh, but I will say definitely That was lower. not an even trade. That that def that hurt that hurt the pirate team. Yeah, the the Are we are we unofficial team pirate on this uh, Lyle? I feel like I feel like we have to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm rooting for the pirates. I mean, I lived in Pittsburgh as well. And that was their uh a baseball team. That's true. And I, I used to go to their games. It was fun. That's one baseball stadium I want to get to uh, with my dad. He really likes the Pirates. 
Roberto Clemente. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's right there at the. I mean, there's two rivers that meet to form a third river. The Yakagani and the Allegheny form the Ohio right there, and then the Ohio hits the Mississippi, and from the Mississippi you can get to anywhere. And so Pittsburgh was called the Gateway to the West. That was its name. And I thought that was St. Louis. I mean, I'm okay uh, with I'm okay with St. Louis not having that name because St. Louis is a trash city. Um, hopefully, but yeah. <laughs> hopefully, but, nobody uh, at home has that. It's from there. <laughs> oh, hold up. Let me Anyways. be fair. Like, I've got little sister syndrome being from Kansas City, but like, St. Louis, trash city, and you know it. So the stadium there is right there where the three rivers meet, which, according to Native American lore, is like a place of power. Um, anywhere where three rivers meet is like this cosmic spot that you can perform powerful magics on, which is why that baseball team sometimes does well because they're ch- channeling that, that energy. You buy that, right? I got Everybody it. Everybody buys that? I'm in. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, trash people, trash food, trash just trash. <laughs> you guys are so mean. You you've, uh, da- you've damned an entire city. You're just like the whole city. Just like, I mean, so no. long as it's hey, if if it's one city that I dislike the most, it's St. Louis over in, any of the other ones. I mean, every other city has a redeeming quality. St. Louis is like a worse version of any eastern city, any western city. Just bad. That's bad. Dude, well, show, show me hold your up. beer. Hold, show me your up. beer. Yeah, there you go. Miller Lite. Okay, all right. Just making sure it's uh, not Bud. Hold up. Let me be fair, though, because someone mentioned someone mentioned Budweiser, and the one thing I will say in Budweiser's defense is that Budweiser keeps the liquor laws in Missouri in the 1970s, and I cannot appreciate them more for that. Did you know that you can drink or you can have three as many open containers as there are passengers in in Missouri? It's the dumbest thing in the entire Wait, world. What? Yeah, okay, okay. So say say I'm driving, right. right? And you are in the car and Lyle's in the car. If you guys have open beers, it's fine. Which is the dumbest thing I have ever heard and should be illegal, but Whatever. I'm in Missouri. <laughs> Road well, Soddings. Ro- so- yeah, Road it's. Soddings. Yeah, that's. Uh, a l- no, that's because of Budweiser, not because of St. Louis. St. Louis. Just trash. All right, so uh, we're getting dial set here. Oh, so yeah, we are. I want to talk about the red guy. He's got two hole left. He, he, I think the ultimate goal here is to try to get that guy in a blocking position. So he doesn't get a return shot or doesn't get shot at. He has only two hole. Uh, make him useful for this last turn. Or you put him in a position to force the, the Shadowport Hunter to have to turn the arc if he wants to focus fire that guy down. Yep, agreed. That's a good analysis. Dion. So what, like a two left bank if you want to go for the block? or Two left bank. I mean, he's this gonna thing get... doesn't have a... Does it have a three left hard? I gotta look at its dial. It does. It's just red. Okay, so it can do that. Yeah, it could do that. Uh, That's gonna... what I would do. The three hard left. Because the the skurg that barrel rolled to the bottom is gonna be able to take up some of that space. I really expect it to probably just do a one forward, just to mm-hmm. if because if he tries to come fast to go past the block, you get a shot. One forward, yeah. yeah. He's gonna I mean, slow roll the other two and try to block with the, the the injured one. He's in a decent position with. Thwick's in a good spot to sort of pounce on this situation too. He's yeah. got a three left bank, and then does he have an engine on him? He doesn't. He, does he? His natural natural boost. Oh, he got a boost. Yeah. Okay, three left bank and a boost. He'll be in a nice flanking position. All right, we're going to get to see that dial. It is a three forward. So, yeah, that three hard that Sozin said, I think would uh, would get him a shot or put him in the position for him to force him to push the arc to the back. If three left bank is good, too. Yep, that's solid. Gives him the barrel roll for the block. True. 
Now the three hard might already. Sorry, the three forward is probably already block, blocked in that position. Uh, he took it. But he's going to take it. Better to be safe than sorry. It puts him in a better position to continue to block him again next turn. Yep, there's the one forward from the bottom one. Yes, and if he blocks him, it's less likely to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So two left bank here, maybe? Should fairly clear. One. I mean, he's playing like Blair Bunky here. Self-blocking. No, Self-blocking is good. I mean, keeps him in a good position, keeps him back being able to react. The self-block is the most gangster move in, in X-Wing. I love doing that stuff. Look, he got the block. He did it. I am so surprised that he that he went for that. Right? He should have like a hard right two. Literally anything other than going exactly where you th your opponent expects you to go. I mean, worst case scenario, even if he doesn't, I guess if he doesn't get a block, he's going for the the slam, right? I mean, if anything, if if anything, I would have taken that would have been a left, right? So a hard left two is where I would have gone. Uh, who's the guy with the auto blaster? That's the one thing I have not, I did I, not think about. That's the red one. It's the red. Yeah, one. I mean that. So I mean that was a good setup. It's a red one. He, I think he wanted to stick to greens to make sure that the K4 got off because he was pretty sure that he was going to get black no matter what. So K4 comes off. He's able. He's going to be able to shoot uh, number two, which is the one closest uh, on the um, on the right side of the pow the the shadow port hunter. Here comes a barrel roll by the scout. Yeah, I think he, it's forced. He's got to get a shot. Yep, there it is. He's declared it. You guys might think I'm gangster, but that's the sound of Cinderella playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am so goddamn happy that it's Friday. Uh, I just want to point that out. It felt like Friday on Tuesday. Uh, and that was Tuesday ago. And <laughs> did he use it? Did he use Intel Agent? He did. Okay. He did. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I'm going to try. Okay, and start so he thinking. revealed the three forward. Yeah. Sorry, I missed it. Yeah, he did. That's how he knew he could get the box so easily. All right, here comes Week. No shot on the red one. I love Intel, man. The, well, the one thing that Natties. drives me nuts. Natties. All right, there we Natties. go. All right. All right. He's going to take that. Don't lie. Take that. Scout's getting a shot. Looks like it's uh, Shadow Port Hunter 3v3. One thing I always appreciate is the good recycling of damage. For whatever reason, uh, my map and vassal like will not uh, synchronize well. Like for whatever reason, either there will be an asteroid missing, or a ship will be in the wrong spot. That's weird. You should try uh, exit the not the vassal, but exit your um, the room. And then rejoin it. Oof. It'll resync. Alter alternatively, I, you can just right mouse click and resync. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah, yeah. You know, no, no. I've synchronized. I synchronized. Oh wow, he just uh, the fix again. Yeah, yeah. Man, with, with, the, with the target. The lock. dice don't lie. Oh man. Here comes a crit. It's coming in. He doesn't want to see a blinded. He wants to make sure he gets some damage in here. The dice don't lie. The dice don't lie. And it is a yeah. thrush control fire taking a stress. Which is fine. Man, this is not looking good for the pirates. I feel like the dice are kind of bailing Catchy Slim out here. 
the the one thing to bear in mind is at least he's recite he's cycling his damage on his team well right so you know, he hasn't lost a ship yet despite the the good this is a very this is a very big role coming up mm. Mm. not what he wanted but yeah you're right Ricky he's he's not focus firing which is good well at least these two hits are gonna stick because no evades mm -hmm. rolled so he's gonna be down to four hole. He might be able to kill the Shadow Port Hunter. If he can come out with all four alive and the Shadow Port Hunter down, he's got a shot. Ah, so close. He needs evades here. Okay, two more. All right, this actionless one's going to have to put in some work here. Come on, baby. Come on, this baby. Is it. It's all down to this. Ooh, two hits. He needs, needs an evade to survive. Did I still Ooh, Not today. today. Yes! I mean, I have no dog in this race. <laughs> Man. <laughs> we did it, boys. Yeah, Not used to it. seeing those things die so easily. <laughs> so used to flying against the Sarge. Die still alive. Yeah, yeah. Where's Lats at? Yeah, that's that is the the downside to that PS2 is like you know he can deal some damage while he's alive, but it it, it, go, it can go down pretty fast, especially if it gets blocked like it did here. Here's the shitty thing: uh, the pirates can have two PS killed ships just next turn, and it's a two v two. Yeah, that's entirely possible. The uh, yeah, so go ahead. I was going to say, there, I think there's a pattern that shows up in X-Wing a lot, which is that oftentimes when you go down a lot of material or you go down material, you can end up having the better position the next turn. And we're seeing that right now. Despite the fact that he just went down, you know, one of his big pieces, he's going to have a, he's coming into a spot where he can potentially take out those two, at least one pirate and two. There, if, there's if some decent block position. Oh, okay. I guess that he doesn't have uh, his... Doesn't have his barrel roll, but I mean, there's decent position for the pirates. It's not. It, I'm not going to say it's great, but it's not great. Bring, but... You can bring to bear three ships, probably. I mean, I, I doubt you're blocking Thweek, but no, I don't think you're blocking Thweek. If Thweek can get in and kill KP2, I mean, KP2 should probably just run like heck. KP2 and KP3 should just run. And let KP one and KP four uh, get in there and and there's, bustle. There's no way he's running. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, where's he going to go? He's stressed. I mean, he's he's going for a. I mean, I guess he can't even block. These guys have a two forward green. Is that right? Two forward, two banks. And can the banks green too? Can <laughs> the can the scout the scout like can hide fighter? Turn. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah yes. Um, <laughs> The uh, scout can hard turn, though, can it? That's got room. So he can do a two left bank followed by a barrel roll and hope that he's out of range. Why don't because... you just hard turn with the scout? The scout's got a billion hit points right now. I'm not talking about the scout. I'm talking about KP2. Yeah. For those of you watching at home, uh, how's the audio balance between our voices? That'd be uh, appreciated. Thank you. Uh, the so KP two, realistically, that thing needs to. Uh, how is that going to get out of arc? It's probably not. I mean, you've got a turret that's unless you're turning left. Is that what you're suggesting? Two left bank. The KP two. Uh, I guess you're right. Um, and then you're just going to try and dive bomb the other two. KP one, KP two, I'll swing ones. in and and try to like. Create a line, you know, get in the way. I can kind of see it. It's what Morgan would do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another another concept here is taking the auto blaster Skurg around to the left. Now, mind you, I don't know if he's going to have enough turns to do this, but one concept would be to go around to the left and try to get behind Thweek. And leverage that auto blast turret. Mm -hmm. Now, 
I, I still do think the best idea is to tr try to keep them together. Uh, focus fire something down here. Yeah, the one thing I keep thinking of is they're probably going to get a shot on KP2, right? And you want KP3 then to be able to fire back. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, a sloop by KP3. Two left bank by KP2. They don't. They don't have sloops. Uh, talent roll. They got. They got. They got trolls though. Oh, a, a troll then. Sorry, a troll right. A troll left. I mean, that's a sort of poorly constructed kill box. And then just hyper aggressive with KP1 to try and get into range one. And KP4, yeah. I don't know if that works out. I mean, I guess they're going to be able to see... They'll be able to see Thweek. That's going to be within range two of an intel, isn't it? I didn't check the uh, range of Thweek's last shot, but... It was range three. It was range three. Okay. Yeah. So so no so no intel because intel's one to two right right yeah somebody's asking did you think the hard... the scouts one hard fit it's close it's close I don't know I would one hard on the scout one hard left yeah one hard left will fit absolutely yeah All one right. hard left remember is... it's gonna come back a tiny bit when it turns mm -hmm. That's the true. turn will actually bring it up because of the the way it works right. because of large bases so, yeah. Yeah, and so it'll easily. Fit. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to go through that. Uh, you don't want to go through those asteroids. That's going to be terrible. I mean, it's not swell anywhere you go. But I mean, if you hard turn, you're probably going to out turn them and be able to run through the other asteroids or three where the weeks at. Yeah. Or you can do barrel roll shenanigans. I like barrel roll shenanigans. I'm a fan. I just like the word shenanigans. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with the word shenanigans, sir. All right, looks like we're getting dial set. It's we the, got... the next guy says shenanigans. Um... Checking intel. Like a free range check, you might as well. Didn't have it. Nope. One forward with week. Or oh, he revealed the dial. Oh, he was in. Okay, Kachi just revealed the dial. Was that range two? Uh, I thought it was three, but uh, it could be two. Hmm. Five ship lengths. Okay, hard ride two. He's like, well, might as well try to get something. Me. Yep. And the barrel roll. That wouldn't be bad. But he's... He, mm. Yeah, we could arc dodge that guy pretty pretty nasty next turn. Or this turn. One forward and then mm -hmm. bring it sideways. I'm like, no, thank you. I don't want nothing to do with your arc. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's got a barrel roll here to stop it. Yep. And he's going to maximize the... His firing arc, it's a good idea. I love the sort of net casting game that you play with uh, with these sort of low PS swarms. I just think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you have to utilize all the resources. That you was have. A, that was an, uh, interesting. I didn't. I thought it would do a uh, a talent roll. So he is trying to keep that ship alive. Then I guess. No, he fails to uh, flip his crit. Which I'm, is like I'm legitimately surprised by that. I thought he would do a talon roll to keep uh, to keep shots on. Well, actually, one thing that we I don't know it it does he did not adjust the ship, but he has zero agility on that ship. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, in reality, that ship if they concentrate fire on that, that ship, and oh, said, oh it clipped. You didn't make it. We were wrong. I I told you I wasn't sure. And he we takes were a hit. Wrong. This is what happens when you listen to Lyle. I was that's what I'm saying. I was like, I don't know, guys. Hold up, hold I don't up. know. This is what happens when you listen to me. You should generally listen to Lyle. 
I mean, I knew uh, it was close, but I didn't think it was that close. But in fairness, I only really took Oh, that. this is what I want to see. Yes. Go Pirates. All I right. mean, <laughs> in the, in the, I mean, no, I'm neutral. I'm a neutral <laughs> observer. In the Vassal chat, uh, Slow Dive says, a gift. <laughs> <laughs> And now he doesn't totally trust uh, Thweek's move. So if he can take advantage of the of the fact that the scout can't shoot, uh, no focus for defense, he's going to be able to get two uncontested shots on it. Uh, this could could flip the game pretty hard. I'd rather have him shooting at the scout than Thweek. Scout's got more hit points, and the scout's going to get the rock on that shot from KP one. Very true. I am. I do not know why he didn't talent roll. So, do you think that, that was the better move? Because that's going to bug me for the next couple of minutes until I forget well, I think about it. It's actually he's probably okay now because, given what happened on the board state, KP three can do a hard right two next turn and take some shots at the week. Okay. Four KP two would potentially be shooting through the rock at the week on the next round. So, All right, but but given the board state, don't you want an extra shot on either of those ships or extra? I mean, well, with okay. the troll, I'm not sure he would have had the. Let me see. Yeah, he he may he might have had the shot. Yeah. Oh, I look mean, at the booth. Okay, so he's gonna try to PS kill KP two. No surprise. And then KP three would have a shot on him, an additional shot on him, certainly. This was the. The real downside of KP1 doing the barrel roll right back is that he gave up that boost for Tweak. I don't think Tweak could have boosted through if he hadn't a barrel roll. Oh, look at that. He just but then there's also out. that. That's just... The dice don't lie. They know which team is the good team. He's got one. Come on. One he's agility a always rolls a bait. It's in the rule book. One agility always rolls a bait. Oh, oh, he's God. got it. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, so nothing. Mind you, right, the dice, you know, will eventually even out. They were pretty hot on the attack side uh, earlier. Uh, this is going to happen. No mods, you know. FCS is in play now, though. No, oh, man, you know, it's one agility. They always roll evades. It's in the goddamn rule book. <laughs> That's so shitty. <laughs> hit, hit, oh, crit. Man. Oh, man, that's got to feel so bad. <laughs> it's taken two. Looks like that's unobstructed. Just barely unobstructed. No way, wow. I'm like hyper zooming in, and it might have pixels of white. Because the arcs now the, the arcs now tell you if it's obstructed, right? Is that new? Is that something that I don't know about? Yeah, I thought I thought I saw uh, it. Uh, though they just did a thing. I don't think so. Yeah, not obstructed. Oh, oh yeah, there's a shortcut to check down. Yeah. Uh, are yep. they saying obstructed? That's yes, it's constructed. Yeah. Okay, obstructed. Obstructed. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Move on. That is Come amazing. On. God, move on the god. Absolutely. There's another pillar of the community. Yeah. All right. Looks like know. they're... Too, Ricky, in a weird kind of way. They're... What do you mean in a weird kind of way? In every kind of way. <laughs> I mean weird as a compliment. Hold up, hold up, hold up. In what way am I not? Looks like they're declaring well, it not obstructed, just so you know, the between the players. Actually, I think in no way are you not a pillar, but you are primarily a weird pillar. That's fine. I accept that. I wouldn't want to be a normal pillar. <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> why I love fun. you, man. Yeah, like... Damn. That's three hits yeah, coming in. With a weird as well. No evades. Shields are down on the scout uh, with three hole left. Dang, All right, man. here comes a shot through the rock. we got to focus on the attacker side. And a target lock. And a dream. Oh, he's going on Thweek. He's going on Thweek instead. Ooh. Two hits. I mean, he his, got it. he's got no def new defense, just three, but three dice. Yeah, he's taking he's taking this shot while he's got it. 
you know, a defenseless week. I agree. Red dice yeah. are better than green dice. It's in, that's also in the rule book. All righty. So he's going to only take one shield, though. So that's that's definitely awesome. Uh, for, I mean, it's not. For catching. I think that was, the, that was the right move. Oh, for sure. No. That was absolutely right to move. All right, I've come back from worse positions. Although, once, one, so. once again, I want to point out that there is a missing shot here. There's missing damage on the board because of that lack of uh, talent roll. It's, it's still bugging me, just for the record. <laughs> Call call him out, Ricky. Call him out. It's recorded. I mean, it's like <laughs> it, it's right there. Well, that agility would have done you nothing if you're not a if you're not getting shot, and even if you are getting shot, that means the other guy's not being shot, or he's or you're both dead anyways. I mean, I don't know. Mar- Marcel just uh, asked, "Where are the A wings?" Oh, Marcel and I have been talking about A wings, which, by the way, is uh, like. That is a an experience that is intimate and loving, I'll say, and um, I can't wait to, to jump into it. Um, a wings are not there because they're terrible, and uh, <laughs> they're actually they're not. A wings are good, but there's nobody to go with them, and they're good for like they're I don't know I'm I they're not they're not good against bombs, and that's a major problem. They're, fine. They're good for Every- playing uh, X-Wing soccer. Everything. Yeah. This is fact. Oh, my God. Lyle. Lyle. All right, so we're going to talk about X-Wing soccer. You know what? How about this? Depending on how much time we have left in the show when this game is over, you guys want to you two throw down one of one of those games here? We did. We Hold up. Hold up. I did. I did call I'm Lyle down. out. I'm totally down. I did out. call Lyle out, and uh, right. when, when we're both drinking, so that's going to be good. Um I did call Lyle. He says he's going to whoop me, is what he said. He said, No, that. hold up, hold up, hold up. I asked you who would win, and you uh-huh. said it was 55 45. That is what I said. In, in A Wing soccer. Well, I also said maybe 60 40. Yeah, okay. So, um, so A Wings are fine, um, other than bombs being not fine, right? If if they weren't around, it'd make life a lot easier. Either way, either way. Dash is still around, and so that also makes A-Wings not fine. So for all of you A-Wing enthusiasts out there, we're going to have some A-Wing soccer after this. So, Lyle, you want to you wanna break down A-Wing soccer for people who aren't listening to the Hall in it? Yeah, just make sure you keep an eye on the board in case something yeah. happens we miss. All right, so A-Wing soccer, you get four A-Wings each side, blue team and a red team. You have a little ball that you kick around, and you have two goals that you try to score through. So it's kind of a lot like Rocket League. And what you do is when you move, when you maneuver your A-wing, if you hit the if you hit the ball with your A-wing, then you will dribble it forward. It'll go forward with you. And when you reach the end of your maneuver, you will then kick the ball forward at this using the, uh, the same maneuver template that you moved in, but you can switch the maneuver plane. So if I do a three a free right bank, I can kick three left bank. Okay. That's Makes cool. Sense. Yeah. And then you uh, first person with three goals wins. You can shoot at each other. It's a regular game of X-Wing. You try to destroy each other. Um, you can play with asteroids or without asteroids. Let's see. Um, when a ship dies, it returns to the field on the next on the next round. It comes back. Um, I think that's the whole game. It's pretty straightforward. That sounds like fun. I'll paste the rules into the uh, Twitch channel. Add a rule. Every time you lose a ship, you got to take a shot. It's in okay, there. so I don't want to spoil or anything, but that may have been similar to the contest that actually won. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, while they're doing uh, planning, I'm going to go grab right. a, uh, a BRB right back. All right, so uh, Intel is active. Dials are down. Looks like that scout's going four forward. Tweak is going three left bank. And now, time to decide what's the order of those dials. Uh, both those moves, he's trying to cover a lot of space in order to make sure that he can try not to be blocked. Right? Uh, I think the scout is blocked no matter what. the uh, The thing is, I don't know if, like, the scout player might not want to be blocked. Lyle, yeah. is is my uh, picture frozen for you, with my mouth no. hanging out open? No, it's not. Okay. It's fine. Because on my side, it's frozen.
And your voice sounds good too. Okay. Where's my mouse here? Alrighty, so he's deciding to move. Uh, that is KP1. He's moving forward and barrel rolls. He's definitely going to cover that uh, that four forward. Mm -hmm. KP3 making a three bank. Uh, probably going to barrel roll to make sure that he can clip Thweek. It's going to probably... He, did he get the dial, Thweek's dial? Did he reveal it? He did. It's a three bank to the left. Yeah, he's going to get the block. Mm -hmm. oh, it's going to be close. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, get it. if... If Catchy loses one more ship, uh, it is... It's going to be burning down pretty quickly here. Yeah, with those intel agents and the barrel roll, Weeks capacity as an arc dodger is just limited... kind of cool to see the low PS being able to combat high PS with Intel Agent. I mean, I know that we've seen it with the contracted scouts for a long time, but I mean, it's kind of crazy. It really is. It almost makes me think that what if X-Wing had a medium-sized ship, right? medium size, and only medium or large-sized ships could take crew. Small ships can't take crew. Where the small ships would get benefits for not having that crew slot. Hmm. Because because it seems like why did they give a crew slot to these to the ship to the skirt to make them more powerful, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no no other reason other than that it would seem. And there's very few small base ships that have native crew slots. I mean, you have the Hawk, which is supposed to be a support ship, right? You have, what else do you have? You have the, uh, the attack shuttle. Oh, boy. Again, another support ship. B Wing, you have to take the title to get it. I mean, like, what if, for example, the Y Wing or the A Wing had a crew slot? Right? That, that's your with, last with Jedi. Intel <laughs> yeah. They, I mean, if, if you could fit a crew into those little land speeders, you know, the things in uh, Empire Strikes Back that they trip the adats with, you can fit a crew under that. You should be able to fit a crew in the back of an A-wing. Oh, for sure. Oh, he's popping the dampeners. I, I forgot that he had those. Huh? Um, kind of looks like... Uh... Well, I guess he intel, so he thinks that he's going to make that oh, maneuver. Oh, look, so I didn't know he had it. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha! Ah! Gun. Gets interesting! So oh, man, that's brutal. Yep, yep, this, this, could, be, this could be a vital play for sure. Oh, he oh. didn't get the block with KP1, which he's probably happy about. He can... Oh, yeah, he doesn't yeah. want that block. He doesn't want yeah. that at all. Oh, man. But I was kicking himself. He, he he's, still, he's still in a Catch very strong in game. Still in a very strong position, but he did let he did move that dial a little. Dial is probably not a good word, but, you know, like. Uh, like the win probability, that was a little bit of a win probability swing. I wish we could have that live. You know, like how they do it in uh, in football games where, like, there's always a win probability one team or the other, and it swings on individual plays? Yep. Um, I don't think that would be entirely possible with X-Wing, but it's... You could do it manually. You could just, like, do it behind the scenes. That, that's something I've I've asked uh, the J David Carver. He's one of the X-Wing programmers out there to see if he could build into our streaming software a little slider that I can use. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be fun. That'd be very cool. Okay, so here you go. Uh, this is a free Wait a minute. Deal. Hold on. There. The dampeners didn't load in his hand, but they did load with Lobot. And... 
So they're not in his hand. That's interesting. That's a bug with the. Um... But I think I, didn't I see we we saw one hand. It's been in. I feel like it's been in his hand. Yeah, I'm staring at it. He says he didn't see it. Oh no. They're not in the link. I wonder what link he was looking at. Uh, is it the list juggler link? Because for starters, it's in the league match, and then it's weak. Hey, it's not in the in the squadron builder. Ah, uh, well then that that's probably what they went. That's off where of. it's at. That's where it's at. Ah oh, man. Well, that's uh incredibly nice of him. And do we is this an asterisk game now? No, I mean, I mean, it, is it, it was in Lobot. Like it, when it got posted to their Slack channel, it was there. Um, and it's in his hand. Huh. Well, it's a shame, but Judge, <laughs> isn't that Lyle? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, here. You stepped in. You should have stepped in, buddy. This is now. This is all on you. Whoever wins or loses, it's all on Lyle. It's Lyle's fault. That's funny. <laughs> uh, boom, 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 boom. So one thing I do, uh, I don't know if this was mentioned while I was out on uh, A-Wing Soccer, is uh, it encourages... You know that game that uh, we played at or that that you saw people playing at Worlds, Dion, that uh, where they'd stick a a base out and you had to fly to that base in the fewest uh, turns or whatever. Yeah, it, it it's similar to that. That's kind of like the, what the ball is. You, know, you have to go fly to the ball and then you know try and get it to the goal, et cetera, et cetera. But still, I mean, it's primarily important to get to the ball and move it and so it's basically a walking version of that it's also really fun to fly a wings around too i mean that's just a secondary benefit so we're going at kp3 here trying to take him off the board with the zero agility he's got a crit in there so that is going to be sticking for sure oh he's, he's got range three so he will get one dice it's one agility. We know they're ah boo boo. No. You didn't follow Not the today. rule book. <laughs> you didn't follow the rule book. It's in the rules. Ah, there that it is. Direct hit. He's dead. All right. There it is. There it is. Goodbye. So he got a good block. Uh, he got to be able to do a good block there. If KP four ah. can take advantage of that and just really blast the tweak here, his life would have been worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm filing a bug report. You guys, the issue is with uh, void state software. If you look at the XWS payload, it's it's there, it's given, which is how List Juggler picked it up and how um, Lobot picked it up. All righty. So, oh, that's interesting, Lyle. Well, we. Sure, you guys. I'm gonna send Fergus an email. It's the second bug we've found in his stuff in the last few days. So, he, um, uh, the Skurg throws four focus tokens. Kill for a focus. Doesn't have it. Uh, then Thweek goes and rolls two disrespect evades, just because he can. <laughs> This is a this is a real good situation for these two pirates. The thing you need to bear in mind, though, is that you need at least two of them to to effectively fight uh, whichever ace ends up alive. I mean, in reality, the scouts are like an ace; they fly anywhere. They've got that post. They've got that, you know, board knowledge barrel roll. So, I mean, there's. Not to mention they're a turret, and so they can arc dodge. We are on, uh, for people who listened about my research, we are on round seven. This is uh, this is going all according to uh, the 
patterns that I've noticed watching games. So we'll be we'll be around. I'm gonna guess this game will probably go around 13. Looking at where you we're did going uh, you did research uh, on that. I, I submitted. I was hoping to win something, Dio, and I was excited. You like, didn't get it. Where's that? Where's that under the table? Like here's the hookup uh, win. Where's I, that I, at? I I try to be really honest. I used a random number generator, and click the button one time, and then just see who wins the thing. Yeah. Why didn't you just not click random until my fucking name showed up, man? <laughs> Too much work, man. There's a lot. There was six hundred something people. I would have had Are to hit that button a lot. That's amazing. Yeah, it was it was great. Uh, thank you, everybody. Anybody who uh, who participated, thank you so much. Are you going to release data on that? Yep, yep. I'm trying to compile it in a nice, pretty format. Uh, but the basic idea is that people thought that there were a lot, not a lot more, but that the the average perception of X-Wing players is that there are more turns that they're act than they are actually are. Than they are. I'm, I've been drinking. Sorry. Lightweight. Than they actually are. Words are hard. Mm -hmm. English yeah, language is weird too. Yeah. Ricky struggles with English sometimes as well. I struggle just period sometimes. You just struggle? Yeah, I just struggle. Let's be real. So looking at the scouts options here, KP1 is going to be hitting that rock no matter what. Um, yeah, they can sell them. It is true. That's true. We can do a little, uh, little one bank. To keep him in the same spot, um, but that scout's going to be able to 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 get away here. He's going to have a chance to be able to use those three hit points and three hit points on a scout that can uh, can barrel roll and do a little bit of arc dodging. Can uh, does can a do does a right uh, talon roll clear that rock for KB one? No, because they have a two talon roll, right? It's a three. It goes right through it. Yeah, I mean, not not clear. I mean, clear at the end of the talon roll, so you have shots. I mean, oh yeah, thing, oh yeah. That, that, that's, that's, the, the, the things the things got ten hit points. You're just looking to try and shoot at this point. You just want active dice rolls. Yeah, no, I think the the three talon definitely does get you a shot if uh, if the scout comes forward. And the two's got a not a bad situation either. I don't know what four's got some. I mean. Four is just gonna roll in on the scout and try and kill it, right? And then we've got a what's likely a two v one versus Thweeg. I mean, you can probably you can kill box that uh, scout. I think not kill box in quotations. Let's let's be fair. This is not like the greatest skill box in the world, but you can get two shots on that unless it runs. I mean, I suppose the scout can three bank right. Just talking to myself here. No, you're good. You're good. I'm I'm editing. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of of cropping of this image here. There's uh, the shadow port hunter's dial is showing in the player window, so I'm just cropping it out. Boom. Gone. Oh, thank you, computer people, and building things that work when you press buttons. Alrighty, so we got all the dials are down. Let's see what happens here. We're going to get some intel action on both. Uh, Thweek is going to be going three left bank. They're both, and then the scout's going three right bank. Scout's just trying to get out of dodge. Yeah. Which is the right, which is the right call, for sure. So... Their goal, I guess, is to kill KP2 in lit. There it is. There's the T-roll. Now, now, good call. There you go. Good call. There you go. Uh, so the scout's goal is to live and try and kill KP2 so it's a 2v2 and then get and get one of those two scourgs. The problem is there's a billion hit points on those things, give or take one or two hit points, but a billion <laughs> yeah, he's going to have uh the scout might eat it this turn. Um the three bank he needs some dice luck he yeah, really does. He's going he's going to need a little bit. He's going to have to choose whether to barrel roll. 
I mean, here, uh, but what's the math on that, right? So barrel release to range. Do not ask me. <laughs> right. R- range, having a focus is better than having an extra green die, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Right. I think that's I'm true. back. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That's ah, our math. There you go. Thanks, Lyle. <laughs> There's an app for that. There is. There uh, is. They did not roll for the asteroid, Judge. Um, they've already rolled. Too late. No, they can still do it. And you can literally say roll for the damn asteroid, Scrubs. <laughs> Please copy-paste that in there. And then dash Kelvin Tiberius. Dash Sorry, I wasn't, also, also I wasn't paying attention. I was, firing, I was firing up the bug report to Fergus. No, you're good. No, yeah, they didn't, you know they didn't roll because they, they're still the four focus... Uh, Is that attack the one dice. with uh, collision detector? That could be the one with collision detector. Uh, but it still hits on hits. It's still, yeah, yeah, it still hits on. Boo. Oh, there you go. They just, they caught it. They caught it. Roll for rock? Question mark. Someone's listening to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something that would ever happen. Astro roll for lo- rock uh, 30 seconds after uh, we said it. Mm. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Uh, somebody in the chat says, asteroids are just holograms anyway. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So the, the, the right choice here is to do a focus. It has to be. He's not barrel rolling. There it is. Because, yeah, he's not going to be able to barrel roll out of range. Mm-mm. Either way, you're giving a range band. with. You might get it. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the question, and I don't know the answer to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were – either one of these is barrel rolling closer into range. I don't think that he can escape KP1's arc, but if he barrel rolls uh, – Trying to upside down, that's left. Uh, if he barrel rolls left uh, to his left, that would likely get him out of KP4's arc, but into a range one shot for KP1. Now, that's going to let him survive. Does he make that, like to live, or is he just praying that two shots aren't going to kill him? Is it better to take, or is it better to eliminate a what looks like range three shot? And then take a range one shot, or is it better to take both with a focus? Probably, probably both with a focus. I mean, he's he, the Skurgs don't have any modifications, so they're going to be right average. It's going to be one and a half yeah, hits. Rolling, and he's going to be rolling through an asteroid the next round if he makes that barrel roll. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. So it's unfortunate he's, he's that. In. Not a good position for that scout, though, man. Yeah, the the scout's gonna probably eat it for sure. And Thweek is not in a uh, offensive position. Uh, he's he's ready to come back around, but it's it's gonna it might be a little <coughs> bit too late. So um, and remember, he still got the dampeners. Thweek does. All right, so he's got to chew into these 20 hole. Let's see which one he's going to go with. I'm assuming the closer one. Yep, 2v1. Two hits. That's convenient. That's good. Rolling for damage here. Dice don't lie. And he's going to take two shields. In the grand scheme, if he can get the scout off the board, those two shields mean nothing. Focus, baby. Focus. Do it. Do it. it. There you go. There you go. Range three unobstructed, three on three. You should get one through here. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, he's got a he's got a target lock. That doesn't hit there, so. Your average, di- oh, I was gonna say your average uh, green is uh, is uh, your average three greens. What almost two, isn't it? No, it's yeah, it's one in, one and change, right? Yeah, one and change. So, so he's down to one hole. 
Uh, I'm sure that uh, Slow Dive is really wishing that the first shot would have got something through there, but not quite. I think the I think the scout can avoid KP four though on this next turn. Try to sw swing around that rock. The with left. That three left bank. Yep. I mean, stay alive for another round of shooting, or boy, boy, I, am, I am I? Here's here's my thought. Am I crazy to think that like his goal should be to try and get a range one shot and maximize his next attack? The scout. Yeah. I mean, this, it's already dead, so you may as well get the most offense out of it. If you're banking out of the way, you're, you've got a shitty shot, that, and you're going to die probably anyways. It's not crazy, but can KP4 get into range of, of the scout with a... These guys have a three right bank on him, right? And, they, and they the do. thing is that they've got intel yeah. on him, so they're going to know where he's going where he's going to go no matter what. Mm -hmm. Well, KP1 is red, so he's probably going to do a two. Man, I, I got to look at this thing's dial. I can't believe it's as good as you keep telling me it is. Yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. It's and really it hurts good. my. The Skurg's dial hurts my feelings. I take it as a, an emotional, personal affront how good its dial is to the fact that it's supposed to be some fat bomber. Mm -hmm. That it can pull like some sweet ass maneuvers, and an X wing is just sitting here talking about his K turn and holding its dick. I mean, it's just not good. Wow, look at all that green. It's it's quite a bit for for that ship. Um, yeah, the three forward is green. The X wing doesn't have that. It does not. You have to be a T seventy in order to get that. Mm -hmm. I mean. I guess they were like, they're like, well, we can't totally make it OP. We'll leave the banks, the one banks, white. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a lot yeah. going on here. Um, so here's the question. So uh, KP, I believe that's to the one who's on the far far right here. Do we? Does he try to leverage for the future or for now? Because he can go for broke now and try to come fast and try to get as, as, as good of a shot as possible. Or does he do something like a one forward? You see your intel, and if he does something with the scout like banking towards the left and barrel rolling away to not try not to get shot, he can then barrel like one forward barrel roll out to try to catch him the next turn. So you're thinking you want to make a move where you can do – a good barrel roll that might, you know, prevent him from dying. I don't see how he doesn't die. I mean, what is the what is the turn of events that he doesn't die other than getting lucky on some green dice rolls? I mean, um, as, I mean, I'll tell you what it is. So, let's say he decides to go right and get away from KP one. Oh, KP one's got a three four green though. He can't really get away from it. Well, I'm saying the the one way he mm. could he could get away is if he does a three bank towards three bank the, left. Yeah, three bank left. Yeah, barrel roll mm. and away. A barrel roll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, then, and that was my original shot. idea because that should get away from KP four. KP four will then do a three right bank and try to get him. Mm -hmm. God, these Which, things have so many hit points. Like, it's going to take three rounds of of shots. Before these things die, like I, two, I, if weeks gonna take at least three rounds to kill any one of these by himself, and that's like on a good day. Oh, I think his his win condition is to, like you said, leave, try to keep the scout alive, do as much damage before it dies, and then try to fin out, finish off one of the other pirates with week and end up in a week versus pirate end game and then went on time so looking looking just uh since we're waiting for them to put down their dials uh looks like they actually have some have the dials down here we go they're target locking tweak with uh large range scanners from kp2 is just a really good 
I think it's really starting to see more play right now too. Players are realizing how good it is in these low PS ships. There's a three right bank you called Lyle. Just try to get as close as possible uh, with the pirate. And we did see intel on the scout. What was it? Um, just cut off Where's on my scout. Scout. He hasn't. It's he hasn't showed it yet. So I called it though. He said, "Show me the scout's dial." Hey, look at that! That pirate is right in the middle of your little moon. Yeah. Perfection. He's landed. Oh, I think it touched. Oh, ioned. That could be bad. It did. It did. Did that touch? No way. The nub touched, yeah. The nub. That's amazing. That ain't bad. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Why did he go so fast? Just go slow, buddy. Scout. Just go slow. Scout. In the net. Scout. The barrel roll should get him out. And will engage trick shot. Oh, man. KP4 is going to get the kill shot on him, though. <sighs> Not if we get lucky, Lyle. Believe. You got to believe, man. So we got three with a focus versus three... I think is it is it gonna be it's probably obstructed, so it might be four. Here comes Thweek trying to do some work. Man, that uh that ion might come back to bite him in the butt. That's that's not good. All right. All right, he's taking a shield. No big deal. Everything's fine. FCS kicks in. Alrighty, he's taking a shot. Oh, no focus, so just one. It is obstructed. And yeah. that's enough. Okay. So not punished uh, too much for bumping there. We'll see if KP4 can uh, can get it done. Well, the punishment is on the next round. He's not going to be... He's going to be a... Sitting duck, right? Three three hits. He's got oh, a look at that. Three hits. Oh man. Two natties, but not oh, enough. He got him. It's dead. He got him. Damn, that's it. Not quite enough. That is it. Damn. Damn. Do I have to buy four skurgs? Guys. <laughs> I'm already like planning on buying four A wings or not four A wings, four uh, gunboats. Where's the hold up? Where's my gunboat hype music? Boo, 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 boo. Uh, yeah. oh, check out this thing I got. Hold up, I'll be right back. Did Vader just say no? He did. Awesome. <laughs> um, I won this in like that. Uh, oh, wait, the camera's up here. No, 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 no. Where you were before was the right spot. Yeah, we saw it. No, 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 no. Move it back. Move it back to where it was. Move it back. No, like literally where you had it showing before in front of your damn face. Okay. There you go. All right. Sorry. So the people camera is over here. Your camera is here. Yeah. I don't care about the fancy. people. Your people. I don't care about the people. I want to see your damn gunboat. Pew, pew, pew. That's a great looking gunboat, man. Was that uh, from Shapeways? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted in the. Um... Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund auction. So I'm going to have oh, to get cool. somebody to paint it for me. And, dude, check this out. The wings move. Ah. Uh, okay, now you do actually have to show. There you go. That has yeah. to be shown. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So. Do the wings move on the, uh, on, the, on the gunboat at the FFG one? I hope so. Do we know that yet? I hope so. I'm flying four of those in a tournament. 
like just on purpose. I don't know if it's going to be good. In fact, I highly doubt it's going to be good, but I'm going to do it. Isn't the technical term articulate? Articulating wings. I mean... All I know is that articulate... No, it's reticulating splines. That's... That's it, an old SimCity 2000 joke. It is turn nine. It is turn nine. Looks like we're, we might hit right on that average, that average of 11. I won't fly four of anything. I'll fly four gunboats. I don't think I've flown four of a single ship. Already. So no, I've done four. I've done four Y wings before. I've done four Y wings, but I don't think I've done four of any individual ship uh, in the game. I'll do three A wings and a buddy, but or four, five four aggressors, rookie. Four aggressors. No, uh, you know I would do four aggressors over. Uh, no, you know I, we 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 talked about three this. with I Jonas. Wanna, three with Jonas. No, I do. Yeah, three with Jonas. Can you do three with Jonas and uh, Boshek? Um, nice talent roll there to cover arcs. I'm on. Uh, you oh, know, yeah. I, you, know you know, I'm on a. Uh, I'm on a, a quest. For, I'm, I'm on a bullshit quest. I'm gonna make that that uh, that ship good. Well, that's I, our uh, our contest this this episode, mm -hmm. which hasn't come out yet. But <laughs> you get a preview there. So here's a question: In the Vassal League, MOV matters, right? Okay, so I know there's a couple people in the chat. That is why they're going to play this out because um, Catchy is going to see if he can at least take out the one with two hull or try to take out another ship just to try to get as many points as possible because, as you know, in a tournament, you can miss the cut of something or, you know, by, by one point. So you got to get – when there's points on the table, you got to take as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so it is Thweek's turn. Oh, we got a we got a nice joust going on here. All right, so this is the motherload tall boy that uh, I'm bringing in. All right, congratulations. Yep, it's um, guys. I'm gonna go say goodnight to my kid. I'll be back. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> uh, You're gonna get to do that, Ricky. Soon, man. I'm excited. Kids already kicking and all that stuff. Uh, it's super adorable. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to be a dad. <laughs> like, I'm I'm not dodging it at all. I like it. Um, wow. I am surprised that he went for a bank. I would okay. I really would have chased uh, for the points. He's really going for it. But by turning in, doesn't he, like, leave himself open to, like, vicious blocks? Yeah, I mean, he'd probably just get get the uh, get the shots he can. Uh, they're asking, are you out of Miller Lite, Ricky? I'm not out of beer. Um, so are you out of beer? What That's I, why you're drinking Miller I, Lite. Okay, so, so let me start with Miller Lite is the choice of my family, the ch the shitty beer choice of my family. Uh, also, it's 96 calories, you know, so that's good. Also, um, you start, I start worrying less about tastes after beer six, and I'm at probably beer six. So um, here we are. I mean, over the course of the you see, evening. I don't you know. see, Ricky, the next thing I need to chart is your average beer intake to see so that we can we can do a survey and compare it to reality to perception? Oh God, no! I don't. I don't need that. Uh. <laughs> it's good data. I'm here. I am a data collector. That is what I do. So uh, I would. I probably go through two to three beers a podcast. Um, I'm on the Zach Matthews plan. Of podcasting, uh, and that's probably I, that's probably right. Oh man, now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be feel bad. Don't feel bad. All right, so is, he's wow, taking advantage. Is... He's taking advantage of that barrel roll. Uh, he's going to be able to do a one hard 
next turn. Yeah, to get out of it, I guess. Yeah, to get out of it and see if he can catch uh, the one that only has two hit points left, which is at the top of the board. Yeah, but doesn't that guy just, you know, go forward? Um, I don't. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's making not a bad call. So it's obstructed. Three v three. He's got a target lock from FCS. He's going to re-roll it. Two hits. Waiting on the defense dice. He's going to be taking a shield. Jeez, so, so many hit points. Yeah, I mean, he, what's going to happen next turn, right? You're going to have, well, depending on the damage, we'll see what happens here first. So this is 3v5. While hit, I've got some crit, interest. crit. Oh, shit, the dice don't lie. This is all natties. All right, he's going to be taking a crit. No, no, you got an extra vape from something. Uh, thruster? Oh, thrusters, he's got, he's got thrusters. auto thrusters. There you go. Thrusters, yeah. Hoo, 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 living dangerously. Lyle, I've gotten uh, a lot of interesting. Uh, I've been talking to some. So, I've been talking to some cancer chat people about uh, about Boshek, and I've gotten some interesting ones. Uh, some with Oiken. I've got one sent to me with Chopper. I need to tell these people to send it in for uh, the contest. But there, I, I think Boshek can be something. Like, do you send it I, to uh, feedback at back to dials dot com? <laughs> that's that's if you don't like the cast. Uh, <laughs> although I'm so happy back to dials is back. But are like, they, Asa? If you're watching, but are you? Are you? I don't believe you. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I just want to point out that Scum and Villainy has been uh, the third favorite podcast of everyone's podcast since the beginning. Uh, <laughs> And um, you know, like every every like six months, they do that. Who's your favorite podcast? And we're always third, right? And so I'm okay with that. We're just third for forever. We've been around right. for forever. I haven't seen that. Where's that? A on like Reddit and shit. Like it's every six months. It's more than that. It's like every six months, someone does a who's your favorite podcast, and then there's a whole fucking Reddit thing, and it's all and it's always somebody. Um, and, uh, we're always third, so I'm yeah. okay with that. I'm back. But we're always around. We've been around since 14, 13, I don't know. Yeah, not the best, just a 78%. You can't be the best when I've drank six beers. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, Diamond King, I did miss Auto Thrusters, sorry. I got, I got excited there. Uh, earlier. All right, so we got one dial down for Thweek. Three down, uh, waiting for... Sorry, three down. Wow, I have been drinking. We're waiting for him Take to it. put three dials, dials down. What did I miss? Uh, so we had Thweek dodge a hit crit crit with uh, a not modified... Uh, five dice defense plus auto thrusters. He threw two mm. plus auto thrusters. Um, and it looks like uh, Thweek is set to go. He's got four hole. He's going to try to get as much MOV as he can. You know, just see what he can dig out here. Star Viper, does it have a hard left one? I think so, but we've been wrong before. I think the hard left two will clear regardless, but. Internets. I'm sure there's somebody who plays Star Vipers. Does the Star Viper have a hard right one? I feel like it does. I think, I think it, does, it does, yeah. yeah. And it's white. Yeah. Um, but I'll just check inside Vassal. Maybe the hard left two is better. Gun for KP2. You guys got to get used to flying against Star Vipers. You're going to start seeing more of them. Yeah. All the th all the tweak flavor of the tweak. That that's 
That's so terrible. That's who's, so wh- terrible. That Get was, out. That was somebody's Get episode out. title. Who? Whose was it? Get out. Oh. It was, uh, I think it showed up first on Dank X-Wing memes. Was it? Somebody used it as their episode title. It, that sounds like a, uh, I don't know, favor of the tweak. Sounds That's like- so bad. <laughs> Uh, Dion, do you put these up on? Uh, do you put these up on YouTube after? Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're nice. I'm recording it locally, so we will. This will be live in the future. Hello, future people. Star Viper has all the ones. It's a. Uh, it's hard ones are white and the rest are green. Oh, the one four is not bad. Having access to that. Yeah, one four is gr- such a such green. a good move. So it looks like, from from what we're seeing here. That um, that slow dive was maybe banking on Thweek coming in with like a three left bank to try to avoid getting Did shot. Did he not have intel? Was he too far away? It was was too far. It was range three. Damn. Good. Uh, good on Cashy for Cashy's done a good job of avoiding intel for the most part. That's one thing I've noticed uh, this uh, go around. He has he has done a pretty great job of that. I'll be right back. Something is I'm not going to touch this. I'm just going to leave it alone. Yeah, look at that. He is gunning for number two. Yeah, I'm. I'm really surprised that. Slow dive went so, so aggressively for the kind of like. The three bank away. Mm-hmm. You thought I'd play a little slower, maximize his arcs. That's true. I mean, if if Thweek would have gone there, he would have been wrecked. But uh, it looks like Thweek is going to probably be able to take out uh, KP two before it uh, it gets to fire in a couple turns here. Hmm. And it'll be like turn 14. He'll be swinging around. He'll have maybe two turns to kill KP4 or KP1, which should not be enough. You know, Twix not got a terrible position to set up uh, for a kill. Uh, he'll kill KP2, but he's going to be in a lost in game after that. And he's getting the MOV, so it's there. I mean, how many? And he's got a billion rounds, I'll call it. You know, give or take a round to, to he's kill. Got eight Kevin. rounds left. Yeah. Eight rounds. So, Dion, I have to ask you, man. Yep. You're coming into the off season. Mm-hmm. Competitive play is winding down. What are you going to do with yourself? Uh, this is one. <laughs> uh, you know. I know a lot of people are, are feeling burnt out, right? They're like, oh, yay, finally the break. Like the, the, the competitive person in me says, though, like I don't want to take a break. Like while you're all resting, I want to be training. That way, like, like I feel especially with uh, – I, I don't get to play on the table as much as I would like to. You know, one, one day a week plus some Vassal games. Uh, but being able to just maximize practice time uh, with people who understand, like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm playing this to practice for tournaments in the future. Uh, but one thing I am working on uh, that is more casual. We've got two things going on. We have uh, X Wing objectives, which we'll be talking about more later. And I'm sh- you guys have teased a little bit, and Bob, uh, which is Bob's community edition and your community edition, Lyle. Uh, we're going to be, we're working on testing that for you guys. And, cool. uh, I'm really excited cool. to get that, to get that by the running. way, we're, we're kind of branding a community modification, um, community mod. Yeah. There's some very intentional reasons why mod is a better word than addition. Um, I'm ex- I want to run, I'm excited to do some tournaments for community mod just to see like what that meta looks like 
that's the one thing I'm excited to do. Although that I we'll see how long that takes with the, you know where whatever Bob wants to do. I mean, we don't have a list builder yet for it, which is going to be kind of critical for it to take off. But we're working on some tech right now. But we haven't started yet, but Guido and I are basically going to be starting a project soon where we create a builder builder. It's basically a builder that you feed a rule set to, and then that builder will output a builder that works for your rule set. So we can parameterize the FFG community, the FFG rule set, and then we can put the community modification on top of that, parameterize that, and have a builder that just works without having to hand code a builder. If this makes sense at all. It's kind of a technical nuance, but um, we're, work we're going to start working on a builder builder soon. Yeah, uh, somebody's asking if I went to Canadian Nationals. I couldn't make it because I did not get my passport in time. Uh, basically, I didn't have one. <laughs> um, my off season is, I mean, league. That's mostly what I've been doing. And then podcasting. I don't know. I mean, I'm sort of ready for the breather and to sort of get into subjects that are more interesting that are not, you know, news, 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 you know, like starting to break down interesting subject matter in X-Wing. And that's the thing that I'm a little excited about. Also to try stuff out. Mm -hmm. oh. I think I'm going to start my um, Hot or Not project soon. Have I told you about this one, Ricky? Did you say hot? No. Did you say yeah. hot or not? Or First not. of all, like I don't know how old you are, Dion, but that used to be a very influential website. I, um, I know what hot or not is. I yeah. Don't know, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, you look young. You could be old, but you look young. It's it's a blessing, uh, in my family. There you go. There you go. Um. Anyways, so what what's your site? What are you talking about, Lyle? It's gonna be. On the left side, you'll have one X-Wing list. On the right side, you have another X-Wing list. And you have a little slider that you'll slide to the one you think is going to win. And how far you slide is how hard you think it's going to win. If, if you leave it right in the middle, you're saying it's 50-50 matchup. It's a push. Coin yeah. Flip. yeah. If you slide it all the way to one side, that means 100 nothing. It should win all the time. It's a matchup loss. Um, follow me so far? Yep. Yeah, that's no, a, I get it. That's amazing. I like that. It's, it's, ma right. it's matchup perception. I like it. I like it a yeah, lot. Yeah, and then we're going to start with wave one, and I'm going to basically have everyone go in and hot or not wave one. And then we'll move to wave two, and we'll hot or not wave two. After we're done with wave, once we get to wave four, that's when we start having uh, List Juggler data, because when List Juggler went live in 2014, that was wave four when it started, that world. At that point, we should have enough data, assuming people crowdsourced it enough, to create a neural network that will try to predict the hot or not result based on a matchup. That's pretty cool. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Um, effectively, at that point, you'll have a fairly simple artificial intelligence that can look at new matchups as they come in or look at historical matchups, use the training data set that the community creates based on hot or not, and use the list juggler and Vassal League results to basically predict the meta that's pretty cool it's amazing what we yeah. can do with computers nowadays i know dude it's gotten so easy i mean you can build an artificial intelligence system in less than 50 lines of code no it's so simple i mean the apocalypse will be upon us soon <laughs> <laughs> thank god i've Enjoy got a kid coming can, that's not terrifying all right so the has got that range two shot Yay, finally got it. He says finish him, hopefully. He's got target lock focus. All right, that, that kills him. Spend yeah. the focus. Uh, I would guess that these gentlemen might probably finish call, him! call the game they here. Have, they might call it here. Yeah. yeah. No, you can get I it. mean, he's got, he's got, he's got intel. It's the intel. Kill. It's the intel agent that, yeah. like, that for me seals it. Yeah, I mean, he's got, let's see, 8 and 8. He's got 16 hit points to chew through. 
I don't know if he's going to be able to kill one of those in, uh, what are we on, round 12? So seven rounds? One round 12, yeah. Yeah, so he's got seven He, he might be able to do it. I would, I would fight. Wouldn't you? Would you guys not fight this? So one thing that I've learned and that I learned, at, I've relearned at Worlds, and it's a lesson I've always had issues with, is I'll always give up, even if there's a percentage chance. <laughs> always give up. I like your fighting attitude, Ricky. You're like, I'll always give up. I thought that was going to go the other way. I really did. <laughs> no, no, no. But like in in reality, though, like if I don't think I've got the win, like I'll go and do something else at a tournament, just like go watch other games or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I had this lesson nailed into my head at Worlds last year, where where I had a one hit point Nora versus. You know, a, a, a ray and a chopper list, and I think I had two A wings left. And I think I gave up for some reason. I don't remember what it was, but I, I may have destroyed one of his lists. But he had a large base ship, and he outpointed me. And I forgot the fact that um, about the half hit point rule, uh. and and I could have the the chances were long. Right. Like, I don't remember the exact situation and I don't want to jump into thinking about the exact situation just for entertainment purposes. But the, the long and the short version is that I didn't pay attention to uh, the scoring rules and, and I should have played out the game because there was the potential for a half point large base ship you know, getting me a victory and then suddenly maybe I'm five and three at Worlds and playing in the second day. I don't know. I mean, it, no, no, I'm five and two. Sorry, math. Uh, but that would have been good. It would have been good for my confidence. And not doing that, like those subtle things are the difference between someone making the cut and not and knowing those rules and it's something to like bear in mind is there's there are little things that make a good player a great player and a great player you know a top level excellent player so and would you say attention to detail is one of them <laughs> yeah and that's the problem i have <laughs> so i just want to take a look here you know it's interesting that uh that slow dive i mean i know they know that they're on they're on stream so they're gonna give us the uh, the jousts, right? That's kind of what we're what we're probably gonna get uh, huh? with uh, an opportunity. Cause I, if if I would can totally, kill, I would totally not do that. By the way, I would you run away. I, I would, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like I don't give a shit about it if I'm on stream. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of people who play differently on camera because they're on camera. It's it's really interesting. I don't think you should just play to win, but. Uh, I mean, like they won't like run away, or they won't like yeah play percentage moves. They'll just do exactly yeah. They'll be more like, bold. and then when when you ask them, like, oh, but I I wanted to put on a good show. I was like, but you lost. Uh, <laughs> they're like, and I'm blaming you, Dion. You yeah, put me on camera, it's, man. It's your fault. Yeah, if you're on a gold squadron <laughs> stream, it probably is my fault. You're right. I've I've learned to expect accept this. This is fine. Do people think that you're bad luck? I mean, they're like, oh shit, it's D. Like I, I can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, most people are cool about it. I've only ever had one person deny me on the stream. Was that at Worlds 2016? No. Dion, I've, I've spoken with you before, and I don't know anyone denies you. <laughs> it was at the Hoth System Open this year that just passed, <laughs> and it was Duncan Howard. Looking at you, Duncan. He goes, he goes he said no. no. He, said, he said, no, not unless it's the final table. And I went, oh, okay. And then I turn around, and then I see a Team Covenant camera on his game. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> Fine. Fine. And what, I, what was his excuse? Well, <laughs> I mean, um, for that one, he said, he said, they really didn't give me a choice. They just kind of set up the camera. And I was like, I was like oh. So I that, doesn't, that doesn't sound accurate. Uh, 
fine. Dun- Duncan's Duncan's my boy. I no, I don't mean I don't mean on Duncan. I mean, never mind. I don't. You're, you're, you're I don't, Duncan I don't, there. You're, I don't, you're Duncan on someone there, Ricky. I I'm not gonna start beef with people who've been supportive of us. Uh, that's good policy. That's good. I'm gonna. Like, I'm gonna. Uh, like I'm, yourself, I'm, your control. I'm slowly but surely internalizing your lessons. Mm-hmm. Like slowly but surely, Lyle has been a positive influence in my life. <laughs> Better let sleeping dogs lie, Kelvin. Oh, I got stories. Well, well, I I'll, I'll give you some off 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 air. Sorry guys, you can't hear some stories. All right. Oh, here we go. Hit crit crit. Oh yeah. There's two. <laughs> I've gone from cheering to the pirates to just like cheering for Thweek out of like desperation. I'm with you. I'm <laughs> I'm cheering for Thweek now. <laughs> So he's got thrusters active for both of these shots. So you're going to have three versus four. Okay, he dodged it. Oh, he's got target lock. He's, got, he he's got thinking about not spending it. He may want to keep it for the next... Yeah, he wants to hold on to it. He did hold on to it. Yeah, auto thrusters, all the... Yeah, you don't, you don't want to... It would have been garbage. Alrighty. Now he might spend it on this one. Because he can probably get three hits. Because mm-hmm. he had target right, lock focus. Modded. Yeah. Oh, he can just spend. Just, yeah, just spend the focus. There you go. Should get one through. Mm-hmm. There it is. There it is. Okay. That was expected. And they're giving us a show here, guys. Very nice of them. They're going to blaze a glory here for Tweak. Yep. I got this, guys. He's like, I'm Fen Rao. I can do six damage on one roll. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't. <laughs> and he, he's got a one forward here, right? And then go for the, the kill in the round after this. He might. What If he comes in f- maybe like a three forward, if the Karthak Pirates I- come in fast, he might be able to to do his weird barrel roll oh, to the side. Oh, good call. Get around him. That's a good point. Kelvin, you're going to say? I just, by going through those asteroids, I feel like he's welcomed his own death. Like, I just don't understand why he's going through and making this position so easily blockable. Oh, he could uh, he could um, dampen her here. Good point. Thank you, Panda. Sure. Good point. That's going to give him a stress, though. Which he can shake off with a one forward the next turn. Although, so I guess I guess his options are a little bit more exciting. Still, I mean, it just feels like you have to go through this area. If, uh, I mean, if he pushes real hard, he's going to bump into one of them and make it a one-on-one shot. Which I mean, isn't the worst. I mean, he's not taking two shots, but yeah, but he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't want to take un- unmodded defensive shots. I mean, okay, so KB4... Well, I think Tyler's spent... got it right. It's a 1 forward and then a 5... And then, a, excuse me, a, a, a 4K, I think he has, on the next turn. It is a 4K, right? No, it's a 3... A 3 roll. A 3 troll. Ugh. All right. Mm-hmm. So it looks like the Viper dial is down. Sloop. Thank you. Sloop. Yeah, I think a one forward is the right move here. Yeah, but you, you, you open yourself up so easily to something like a... Two, two, <laughs> three if, bank, he, if he two, goes one forward, forward. Even if one forward evades... No, they don't, do they have evade? No. <laughs> That's like... Real frightening if you go one forward. I guess you're just praying that you live. Hmm. Too hard left. So that he comes the barrel roll. Barrel he's, right. He's covering the, the, the sloop there. Yeah. 
Tweak does not have very many places to go right now. He gets three Dan bank, Harris. three bank boost. What? And I think KP1 will still have a shot though. Okay, so I have a question. Is that the right move? If he's arc dodging, I don't mind it. If not, then was his move a one forward? Do we know? He did not show us the dial. Because if he bumps... He can just shoot a KP4, I guess. Yeah, I, I think the right move is to bump and, and avoid those two Comes shots. Target lock. Oh, we got it. Oof. That's bad. Three hits and a crit. That's, Ooh, they're that's all gonna not go through. good. That's all of not it. good. Yes. So in theory, he could yes. blow up uh, KP1 here. Yes, the right this the is crit. what I need. This is what I need. Hold so, up. That's two hits and a crit, so I don't think that's going to kill it. I don't think Major explosion right. triggering to a direct hit will do the job. Ah, it's no good. Direct hit. He's, got, he's living on one. He's living on one. He's going to have to use... Uh, Slow Dive's going to have to try to use that one as a blocker next turn, for sure. All right. All right. I'm not saying that we should hashtag I believe yet, but if <laughs> but if the week lives and kills KP1 and it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, the week's probably still going to live if there's one hit point. He needs a miracle here. Target lock. That'll help. That will help. Okay. Good start. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore okay. what I said. It's over. Well, he's going to get auto thrusters <laughs> on this shot. He's going to get it. Going. So, I mean, he really needs a miracle here on the green dice. Uh, I don't think it's not going to happen. It could happen. Come on. Come on. Give me two green he got it. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't leave. You can't leave. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm glad we got some excitement. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Dice don't lie. Now yeah, the problem is, is that the week is not going to get a shot on KP1 now. And then KP4 is just going to blow him out of the sky. Yep. The fact that uh, the fact that he's stressed is really the big deal here. Yeah. Also, KP1's got no. There isn't. This has <sighs> been a great game. This has been awesome. Does KG does does he do? I mean, he's not going to do a talent roll. So he's just going to run, I guess. And so if that's the case, then if you if you purposely bump, it's let's it's still a little up, a bit of an uphill climb. We'll just put it that way. Yeah. Ooh, would he do that? Uh, that's kind of risky. So if if Thweek tries to. Hmm. What is going to be open? Is this a 50-50? Because Thweek, Thweek has lanes open to the right and to the left. Uh, keep the, uh, the one with one hit point left. The only way he could possibly get an arc out there is by doing a talent roll. But he could open himself up to being killed if, if uh, Guri... Not Guri, sorry. Thweek goes to the right. Um... Give me like a hard right one. You could do a hard right one. I think KP1 is probably going to have like a one forward dialed in. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not wrong. K K KP1's not getting... Sh unless... Okay, so if Slow Dive wants to be outrageously ballsy, there's a Talon roll here that I think could potentially kill the week. Yeah. Oh, Talon roll, right? I was thinking left. You don't have one right. Uh, right's gonna uh, uh, KP one right is gonna bump right, and you're not gonna get the, the town roll. Yeah. 
It's a is it a two or a three talent roll? It's a three. I think both are blocked. Yeah, the, they're but both blocked. To the, right. But to the left, but to the left, I think you might be able. To, yeah. Let me no. be fair. My eyesight is is off. <laughs> no, the three is gonna drop him right on the rock, or if you go left. KP one has to dial in either a one forward. Yeah, so so he goes one forward. He's not gonna have any shots for at least this round. Thwick probably just wants to clear stress and run into KP four and reset this. Well, he's yeah. got he's got the weird barrel roll. So what he could do if he comes in fast, if, even if they're face to face, if they don't bump, he can just he barrels move, move around. To the side. Yeah, move to the side, pop him at range one. That ain't bad. But you would need to do, what, at least a... Uh, like, what, like, what is that, a three? Is It's not a two. I mean, you probably have a block in your first two moves. The third is probably going to get blocked by KP4. And Intel is active because... The and then if, and then if that's the case, then KP4 is firing on KP1. Or, or it's KP4 is firing on Tweak with mostly hopeful hit points, and it's a block off of KP1. So Thweek's got to find a way to get out of that whole situation, which is... So it's a three-forward with Thweek is what he has dialed in. Oh, yep. boy. No, that's blo- that's, e- that's pretty easily blockable. Okay, there's the three right bang from KP1. He's getting out really? of dodge. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go for a block. Well, they're He's on, just running. They're on turn 17. So he just has to stay alive for two more turns. No, yeah, but, but if he runs into him, he's never going to take damage. I don't know. We're right here, I would guess. Not that it matters, but. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we can catch up in time now. KP1 can just rab it and it's over. Uh, that's probably a collision. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, that could be close. And the barrel roll doesn't help him here. I think a three forward's not going to hit. We're going to get a little little juke action, a little side side slip. I like it. So three forward and then a barrel roll left to try to get out of the way. Mm-hmm. But then he's doomed. He can't catch it, up it with KP1. Yeah, there's, there, I don't know if there's enough time. I don't know if there's enough time even then to actually kill KP4. Yeah, so he's going to he's gonna barrel roll to make sure he doesn't get shot again. And at this point, I think it's just trying to save points and not uh, not lose Thweek. This is why I think there should be a half point rule for any ship with more than eight hit points, regardless of big or small. Because yeah, I mean, I don't, this guy has fifty points on the board, or yeah. fifth, right? Something around there, fifty. Fifty. Yeah. I mean, I guess the week is not thirty-seven points, so it wouldn't matter. But how much is tweak in this build? Thirty-one, but it could matter in the sense of like if, if let's say, so that we have the one-on-one -on -one hit point. If he got the other one down to half in the next two turns, he would then yeah have an opportunity. Yeah, then it would matter. Win. That's mm -hmm. right. I mean, I don't know. Do you agree, Midian? Like half point for less half so, point for any ship with eight, eight or more, eight or more hit points. I'm down. I th I think it's fine. Um, I, I would, I'm going to start with the Skurg should be large. <laughs> I've said that, uh, but second of all, I think that everything should be half points. Just period. I think like I love I love everybody. I think the issue though with like doing it for everything is like when you get the the, the small you have like. The Z95, I know nobody's using them right now, right? You got like, oh, wait, wait, so wait, so that one's six points now? So you got all these you more complicated numbers you're adding. Not complicated, but more 
different more to think about more to think about yeah, I mean, you're you're already doing it though is, is, is my point you're already Back. doing it so if you're already doing it and miranda's around you know like then yeah i, I mean imagine a reaction you're gonna be like oh i've got to calculate half of miranda's points she's a 50 point ship that's too much work for me. You're going to be like, yes, please. I will calculate every freaking point she's got. Yeah. I'll, ca- I'll do it for you. I, yeah, I swear. Right. <laughs> you know, like, I'll do it for you. Like, don't worry. I got you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my calculator. Yeah. I got this phone. I swear I'm not looking at that map. I mean, maybe the one issue is B-Wings because B-Wings are eight hit points. And I think that you shouldn't score them as half. So maybe it's more than eight. I mean, it still sweeps up uh, all the offenders. You can just make it nine. Nine, yeah, it's nine or more. That's K wings and skirks. <laughs> all right, we're on turn eighteen. We got two turns left. Gunships are how much are Aussies? I still don't, for the life of Six me, know why he barrel rolled though. It's still bugging me. Like he just gave himself a damage by barrel rolling out of Squeak's way. That's all he did was he took a damage. I don't even know if he's in better position. I think he's in worse position. Well, what you could argue though that he's in a position to protect the uh, the one on one hit point because what he can do is that he can fill that space and make sure Thweek can't. It's two. Boost through it's there. two turns. Like K- Thweek was never getting to KP one two turns from now, but by opening up. This okay, so this let me go ahead and say this is minuscule, right? This is like a tiny, tiny percentage, and most games it's not going to matter. But say Thweek rolls three hits, KP four rolls zero, and we're now to five to one, and there's two rounds left, and that happens two more times, and Thweek wins because he was able to barrel roll. If he bumps, it's only two attacks and it's clean and it's and there and he's gonna live. So he just invited himself a a very small chance at a loss when he didn't need to before. Like because they're not gonna get KP one. It's what it's uh so right now he takes a hard turn and boosts. I mean, maybe he's got a shot, maybe he's got one shot left on KP one if everything's lucky but kb one's what gonna move to the corner yeah th- three three bank and barrel roll I'm, or the roll next four forward tur- the next two turns are going to the corner and praying that you're not in range i mean i mean I, in defense of the player it is 12 30 his time <laughs> okay i mean that's i mean look that's fair okay. that's fair but I don't How, know. I just, I just thought about it, and I just wanted to point it out. But you no, know, I think you're right. Technically, like, why leave yourself open to that two percent chance that you could lose, or three percent chance? But whereas the, the if you block, th- then it's a, then it's no shots. Then yeah. then two rounds of a K turn shot and another shot. Yeah, well, he put himself into a good blocking position now. Uh, he's gonna. He's disengaging with Thweek. That's it. This is that's it's the, the game. game right yeah, here. that's the game. That's the game right there. They're going to call it. Yep. Hopefully KP4 is not the one with auto-blaster turret. No, that one's dead. That was the one with a little red dot on it from earlier. Hey, Kelvin, you'd be happy to know that someone just played um, four pirates with Deadman Switch and Nim with Bombet Generator, APT, VI, Advanced Sensors, Genius, and Engine in League Play. It's a good list. It's a legitimately good list. Like, I cannot... There are times when I'm right, but I'm not good enough to prove it. And this is another time that I am right and not good enough to prove it. That list is good. So, it looks like, uh, nevertheless, he's persisting. Uh, He's going to try to barrel roll (laughs) and, uh, and, and hope... I mean, next turn, what you do with that Skurg is you just fly it as far into the corner as you can get it. Yeah, yeah. just don't fly off the map, and then game's over. Yeah, because it's one turn, right? We got one more after this? Yeah, this is round 18.
I think he has three left bank. He, uh, he won't, I, he won't so put that Tyler asteroid. Tyler brought this up. Uh, the Scum and Villainy podcast designated driver Will is life, and he came up with that list. And uh, he's a god, and thank him. Wait, is he your designated driver, or is he your getaway driver? Yeah, you know, I mean... Same thing? Uh, it depends on the not, day. Why not both? True. <laughs> Have you seen Baby Driver yet, by the way? It's good. Yeah, I need to. It's good. Super good. It's very good. Yeah. Soundtrack's amazing. Uh-huh. All righty, so he's saying that I don't think I can get there. He's going to resign here. Oh, I guess he's going to play it out just I mean, for funsies. He, he, they, they know. They're trying to give a show. He's, he's going to try. He's going to reach, and we'll see how close he gets. Because, you know, here's the thing, is if um, if Slow Dive makes a mistake and he picks the wrong move on the dial and he gives him an opportunity, that could flip the game. Because you, you, always, yeah. have to, you, always, have to, you always have to try because you never know what your opponent's actually going to do. That's so true. I mean, that's how Zach Matthews got through top 16 in uh, Nationals this year. I mean, he was busted on the board. You were casting that game, Dion. You, you saw it, right? I think. Oh, yeah. And the guy did not slam with his yeah. K-Wing. It was just like, I remember going like, oh, okay. So you guys were calling in the booth. You're like, what's going on here? Like, why are you <laughs> slamming, man? Like, <laughs> and it happens. And high-level play, too. I mean. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing, you know, like I, I look at high level play as like it's it's your average across because you can you can make one bad move one bad move and you think like, Oh, I have an opportunity for X, Y, and Z, but you, you misthink one thing and it can it can change everything. It can absolutely yep. change everything. One brain fart can cost you a game. Yeah, Clockwork Angel. Uh, I want, go look at that game. It's uh, one of uh, Zach Matthews' games, and it's one of those like you definitely should have slammed. Not Zach Matthews. His opponent needed to slam and just run away and have won the game. Uh, and he just left Miranda. I think it was a range one from the other Miranda. No, and, from his Lorik. Oh, from his Lorik. Sorry, there you go. Lorik, and he rolled. Wookie Commandos killed Miranda. Um, and that was it. So KP4 is covering that spot where Thweek would have to get in order to reach KP1. Four forward, plus the uh, funky, funky boost. He's debating whether he wants it or not. <laughs> it's like, do I do I want to play? Do I want to play this game? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, man, just get out. Just get out. You don't got... There's no way that shot's there, is there? There's no way. Squeak has a family. Take him home. Man, there's no way that shot's there. I can't... If He's he had not going to If he had uh, pushed the limit here, he'd be able to get that, though. Barrel roll and then boost? I think he'd still mm -hmm. be out. Oh, no, with the, with the Thweak barrel roll? Oh, that's a good point. Let's see. Loop. Loop. Yeah, I think he would tag the corner. Especially you do the forward one and then you boost left. He's coming back. He's playing safe. Yeah. Yep. He's, game he's... over. Good game, guys. GG. Yeah, they even said it in their chat. Yep, save the MOV. That's the right choice. And it is. Absolutely. Wow, all the way to the end. Yeah, great game, gentlemen. Great, great game. Woo, that was fun. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, this was a great episode two of the Intergalactic Theater 5000. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Ricky and Lyle, thank you so much for joining me, man. Hey, I do want to point out, uh, I, I do want to give us a, a little bit of a shout out. Uh, this Thursday, uh, we're going to be interviewing uh, the FFG devs. Oh, nice. Yeah. We got all three of them. Oh, sweet. Very nice. So get hype, Paul Lynette. This is 
The only place that you're going to hear that news is on the Gold Squadron uh, live stream. There you go. So go ahead, uh, watch that, and, uh, you know, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for your time. Uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely I, I want to do this again. Dion, I'm, I'm so excited to do this again whenever you want me. I'm ready. I'll just get drunk and shit talk on X-Wing. It'll be great. We'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. The plan is to have this season run up until regional starts. So once we get the dates, we'll figure out how many episodes for season one we'll have. Um, I want to do a quick shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you so much because this wouldn't happen without you. The only reason why I have the equipment to do this is because of you guys. If you want to become a patron, look us up, Gold Squadron, uh, on Patreon. You get cool swag. Look up Scum and Villainy on Patreon. Uh, they're also on there. Uh, we do great work. Thank you, Muon, for making Basil a thing. He Muon got, the God! He's got, he's got his tip jar. Hook him up. Uh, and, yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I forget, gentlemen. Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think uh, so. You're also a God. There we go. How about that? That's accurate. Uh, uh, you know what? And you're a God. You're a pirate God. Mm. I like to. I think that I, I like to call myself the Podfather since uh, the longest running uh, podcaster for I don't know for forever. Next wing. Uh, I'm going to answer this question right here. Somebody asked: Is uh, is GPS is the ghost blah blah blah? Is Patreon monthly or episodic? For ours, it's episodic, but we only release two charged episodes, or we receive we. we Blah. Wow. I'm tired. You can do this, Dion. Got it. We release a charged episode every two weeks. So, for instance, this is free, quote unquote, free content. It's just our podcast that releases every other Monday. And it's Dion's board. <laughs> it's what? Well, and Dion's board and wants to talk X Wing. He's just so hyped up. That's so well, you I get mean, it for free. Yeah. You guys actually give away a lot of free content. It's not just this. I mean, Gold Squadron does amazing work in the community. And you know, your, your casts are top notch. I think you really set the bar for all of us. So, you know, it's money well spent sponsoring your, your, your Patreon. All right. Thank, thank you, man. Let's stop talking. Some people get mad when you talk about this stuff. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to drop it now. Let's, I don't know. Let's see. I got, when do I have to go to bed? Uh, Half an hour ago. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we went, we went longer. Um, I guess I can talk about some cool stuff that's coming up. Uh, yeah. for in the Gold Squadron world. Whoops. So, um, I'll right back. I'm gonna grab another beer. Do it. Some old yeah. art cards that we have in the works right now. We have a Captain Nim that we're doing double sided, and uh, I got one of the sides the art for that. It looks awesome. So if you don't know the history of uh, of Nim, uh, it's Legends now, but he actually steals the Havoc. Like it was gonna be his, and the the uh, the Nubian company that was building it uh, were building it for the Naboo, and the Naboo's like, nah, man, this is too warlike. We're people of peace, so they're like, all right, shut it down. And Nim was like, fuck that jazz, I want that ship. <laughs> so the card is hi is him stealing the ship, and you see like through the hangar doors, people going like, what the hell are you doing? It's pretty cool. That is very cool. That's like some serious backstory baked into an old art card. Who, who, who is the artist that you use? It's uh, Bart Lomage, Federic. Okay. Yeah. 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 So all the all the art cards that that uh, that I I commission, there's always a story behind them. It's great. I love I love I give very really detailed like this is the this is what's happening before this picture. This is what's happening after. Figure that out. And he always does a great job. Uh, then I have Lorik, who is a gladiator. Actually, those are completely done and printed. I'm just, I just need the other ones there. And he's like shoving a spear through an enemy guy. Uh, maybe I could... Hold on. Let me see if I could grab one. I'll show you, Lyle. Found it. Yeah. Everything's okay. I'm here. Mm. Trying to open this up. Yeah, these these I just got in the mail 
couple days ago. Just waiting for the other ones. So I'll, I'll show it to you guys first and see you guys see from this camera. Oh, man. Wait, What's up? Can I say it again? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's right there. Can you see it? Yeah. That is oh, what's wow. Up. That's what's up. All right, so oh, here's okay. here's for the the viewers. Uh, it's probably a little bit out of focus. Hold on, I got I got you I got you, fam. Give me one second. Focus. There you go. You guys can see that. He is just impaling that dude with the spear. <laughs> Because he's a gladiator, so he comes from the, uh, his backstory comes from the uh, RPG, which you're, nice. I'm sure you're familiar with, Kelvin. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one uh, that I'm working on is uh, Quick Draw. And, like, her backstory doesn't, there's, like, nothing really there. She's just like, she was a badass in the Empire. So that's pretty much the, I gave a couple, this is like, this is the model, because she, she's a female pilot. You know she is, right? Like, she's saucy. Wait, hold on, hold on. Have you, have you read my Quick Draw article? Uh, I feel like I have. It's the one where I, I cast him as, like, a him as a drug addict and a maniac that, like, goes to bars and pick, picks fights? Uh, I guess I don't remember that part. No, I, guess, yeah. I casted her as, uh, or I casted Quick Draw as a female, yeah. Oh, uh, hold on, I'm going to send you the article. This may change your mind. It's too late now. It's already in production. It's too late. <laughs> it's too well, you can done. say that she's, she's, she's cross-dressing. Cross you can still pull it off. No, nah, but she's going to be fine, though. She's going to be like, ooh, hello. Hello, quick draw. Maybe I want you to smack me back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then there's a super secret. There actually, there is a, another one. There's a, there's a super secret... Uh, alt art card that I'm only going to talk about on the Patreon. So I can't put it here because, uh, there's some patrons who have been patrons for X amount of time. I'm going to determine that time length and only those people will be giving us like, Hey, thank you for hanging out with us for so long. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's one that's close, close to my heart. You'll see. That is cool. Yeah. You do so much more work than we do, man. Huh. All right. And I still feel like I do a lot of work. You do, you do. Everybody, it's just a lot. Lyle, like none of us have uh, the real dedication, and and I say this respectfully. None of us have the drive to be as good uh, as at, at at podcasting and providing content to the X-Wing world as Dion. I think that he's unparalleled at uh, giving you X-Wing content uh, that is as quality as possible. We're just accidentally quality. And sometimes purposefully quality when Lyle feels like looking at something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate. I uh, mean, I just, I don't know. This is just, I've, I've always been that person that just wants to do stuff. Like I was, um, I was really into baseball for a long time. And uh, like I worked really hard to be good at baseball, but uh, injuries kept happening. So it just never, never happened. Um, so that was something that took up my time before X-Wing. And uh, I used to play a lot of video games. And I was good at video games, but uh, then I got vertigo, like really bad vertigo. So I can't play video games anymore uh, at all. Is that like like nausea while playing them or? Oh, yeah, like really bad, like nausea. I've gotten that before. That's the worst. And and dizziness. Like I used to I was I was ranked in Halo, right? Halo 2. And that's when it's it started. And I was just like, whoa, what's happening? And things that I won't talk about on the air would happen and and it was just yeah just no no more oh hey Dion I've got something cool for you here I just sent you a link if you want to show it to the audience it's the uh the tail of the tape in terms of the dice ah, so yes. um I wanna what would you I just put it in the Skype chat yep I'm pulling it up right now it's 
Sorry, Ricky, what'd you say? Uh, so, Dion, what do you want to? I, I want to. What do you want to ask? Uh, I'll give you a, a question to ask the devs. What do you want to ask the devs? Ooh, I'll give it to you. Absolutely. I'll I'll even I'll even name drop you. I'll be like, look, this is this is straight fire from from Dion. Okay. So, ah, damn it. See, I, have, <laughs> I have to use I have to use this opportunity to make more content. Like this is this is what I want. What I want is you know that we have the. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, now you know, uh, we're going to be having a podcast party. We, I have reserved a room at the Radisson, and we're having this. Now, uh, I have calculated that with uh, chairs and space for food and loop and chewy, we can fit about 80 people. Okay? Nice. And what I want to happen is I want a developers versus X-Wing uh, podcasters, uh, X-Wing trivia to uh, happen. X-Wing or Star Wars trivia? Maybe a little bit of both. I like the uh, idea of X-Wing. Like, literally, what is this? What does this pilot do? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like some some of it will be kind of kind of janky. Like, please spell Kirax. <laughs> right. Uh, some of it will be that that stupid shit. That's so <laughs> rude. <laughs> Dude, uh, don't you think the podcasters are gonna pants them? Th- maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, give, okay. I'll give them not, some softballs. Not if I'm on the team, I'm gonna. That's I'll, true. I'll give them some like, softballs. I have, I have more. I'm more likely to win a lore check versus them than I am a abilities check. A knowledge X-wing check. You'll, 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 you'll get the like knowledge Star Wars check just fine. Yeah. Though. Yeah, I agree with that. You probably beat almost anyone in that. At least. Of that crew. All right. I'm going to pull up. Uh, I know people are asking in the chat. I'm pulling up the Lady Luck right now. It's just going to take me a minute. Uh, lady. So ignore what you see on the screen right now because it's nothing. Oh, wait. I am putting in the wrong thing. Sorry. We don't need that. Hide that. Need a window capture. Window capture. And uh, one thing I'll say is I know I've gotten some messages from people like, hey, man, can you help me figure out how to like stream stuff and do X, Y and Z? Like, yeah, just message me on Facebook and I will help you out. Like I've gone back and forth with this one guy his name is Dana Wallen. We've sent like 70 something messages about streaming. It's been great. I just I love talking about just X-Wing. All right. Where the hell is this now? No, nope, that's not it. We're looking for what is it? It's lady Luck. It should be right there. Why don't you see it? Hey, you just got a uh, a Patreon. Woo, woo. Just now he signed up. Thank you. you are awesome. Thank you so much. Pandas lore. Pandas your. All right. So while you're bringing this up, Lady Luck is a piece of software that I wrote, geez, four years ago, that takes the vassal log and tells you how the dice were basically um and gives you some like pretty graphs and stuff so we can kind of tell like who rolled better got it did you do a lady luck for this one Lyle? yeah the players did it thank you sir govin you're welcome um all right, so you can see the lady luck right there on the screen, everybody. Uh, I'm not going to edit out the edges and stuff, but you can see just because it. You're going to want to unzoom that or scroll down on it. Yeah, it, it, it's adjusting. Give it a minute. There it is. Boom. There there amazing. Go. Okay, so I'll walk you through. So in the dice stats, you got Cassie on the left and Slow Dive on the right. And what you have is there the four dice faces for hits and then the three dice faces for um, green dice. So Catchy rolled, he rolled 23, um, he rolled a total of 62 red dice, um, which he had 10 re-rolls. And so of those 62, he was expected to get 23 hits, and instead he got 27. Um, 26, excuse me. Um, so he did slightly better. Um, his crits were a little better. He was expected 7.75, he got 9. Focuses... 
Um, expected 15, got 11 because his hits and crits were better, and his blanks were pretty spot on. He expected 15 and a half, and he got 16. Um, but head over to the player graph tab, because that tells the real story. Okay, I am going there right now. Okay, go here. Player graphs. All right, there it is. Okay, so what this guy does is it shows you how each player's dice was were versus the expected. And every time you basically roll better than expected, you get a little bump. You get a score. You get a positive score. And each time you roll worse than expected, you get a negative score. So, for example, in the top left, we've got Catchy Slim's red dice. And the uh, dashed line is how his luck was before he used his target locks. And focuses, and the red line is how it was afterwards. So he was basically plus two versus expected before uh, modifications and plus. That's effectively eight. what the target lock gave him. Yeah, and focuses as well. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's a six point swing in his luck. Um, slow dive's luck, you can see, was not as good. Um, he was only plus eight at the end of the little, actually, it's about the same, actually, a little less than plus eight and a little closer to. Too. So their red dice were very comparable. Mm -hmm. um, the green dice, Catchy Slim's green dice were actually pretty good. He finished at plus four, um, and at zero, at zero was his like before, re before focuses and rerolls, and four was after. And you can see that his slow so dice's defense life, defense dice is rolling that one dice were not very good. He was at negative two. He's got so, a billion hit points, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Right. Yeah. So the red dice were even, and Catchy Slim had slightly better green dice, but head over to the versus graph. Now, if you net these kind of graphs against each other and see, you know, what was the total combined luck, if you add the one guy's good luck versus the other guy's bad luck, red dice versus green dice, it nets it, and we can see exactly kind of who did better. So on the top left, you have the converted advantage. Red is Catchy Slim. So he finished with a plus eight uh, net luck score versus um, slow dive. So here we can see even though slow dive did worse on the dice, he still won the game. In fact, Catchy Slim's red dice were better the whole game, and he still couldn't pull it off. Mm -hmm. So what this kind of tells us is that there was either a significant list advantage or a significant skill advantage. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, Even that, with the luck. That is some awesome... Those are some great graphs, Lyle. I've taken a look at, at this before, but I've never really understood it, and you explaining it there just gives a lot more... makes more sense now. A lot more. Yeah, stuff, it, it, it's it's, it's it, very useful to tell you like what what was actually the luck of the game. Like, can yeah. you blame dice, like, legitimately? Yeah, and actually, you can see how the lucks were built up. If you go to the game tape, that final tab... Mm -hmm. Going there now. There it is. It's got it's got all the green dice that got and red dice that were rolled throughout okay. the whole game, and you can see after every roll of the dice, it kind of scores how well you you did versus expected. So click on that first attack set, or just scroll down. Uh, the number one. Yeah. You can also just scroll down. Okay, I I think I got it. Is that it? So, yeah. So here's the first attack that we saw. Catchy Slim rolled a blank hit focus. He then re-rolled. Um, looks like he actually, yeah, he he re-rolled the blank and got and another re -rolled, blank. And re-rolled the focus. And re-rolled the focus and got a crit. Yeah. So he ended up with blank hit crit. Now, Slow Dive then rolled blank, blank, blank. Right, that blank 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 is worth negative one point six eight five luck points because that's if you look at kind of his versus expected, that's how it's scored. I basically just assign an arbitrary number to what you should have gotten versus expected. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually not arbitrary. It's uh, effectively you you it's a linear algebra equation where everything nets out to zero. But 
Anyways, the final result was hit crit, right? Right. Resulting in a positive luck score um, for Cashy Slim of 0.28125. And then you see it again on the bottom. Um, slow dive then rolled, hit, hit blank. And that was worth 0.03 luck points. But catchy slam rolled, blank, blank, or evade, 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 blank, which is worth 70 points, 0.75 luck points. And then it just sums up over the game. And, you know, their, their luck will add up or subtract on every single roll of the dice. That's, that's really fascinating. I'm curious to see... Sorry, guys, it's going to go kind of fast. People who are watching, I want to see what's the biggest swing we saw. Let's see, we got a one. Uh, point. So, so go to the very top, actually, those visualizations, visualizations at the very top. Okay. Show that. So, the, the size of the dot is how good of a luck roll it was. Actually, the very, very top of this page, yeah. The size of the dot is how good of a luck roll it was. Mm -hmm. um, if it's filled in, it was good luck. And if it's empty it's bad luck ah so maybe um, the first the first rolls especially bad the fifth rolls. round eight maybe or the eighth roll was yeah. pretty good the fifth roll was pretty good the fourth roll is pretty good it looks like 11 is a really big red red circle yeah three hits and a crit versus nothing yeah Um, you can see when you've got two big dots, that means that they both like had a big roll. Like, go to number forty-one. You see, like a forty-one is like a slightly big red, but a even 41. bigger. Yeah, screen. yeah, I see that. I'll go. I'll go to that one. Yep. It's hyperlink, by the way. So if you click on forty-one, it'll jump you right to that dice roll. Yep, got it. Yeah, this is just the, the delay on the stream, but yeah, I have it up there. Yeah, that's crazy. You got. There, you see it? Yep. Hit, hit, crit versus evade, 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 focus. That is awesome. That's so cool. All right, so those of you who, are play, on, who play on Vassal, this is a great, great tool to really look at and say, wait, was it my dice? But then, did you, know. you win on your <laughs> dice? Did you win on your skill, or did you win on your list? Right. And certainly, you can at least discount or give credence to the idea that you won with your dice. Yeah, and then you know, of course, there's um, there's a whole thing where, <clears throat> excuse me, where then in the game, even if it does come out the dice, you have to ask yourself. Could I have put myself in better situations for the dice not to be a factor? Because mm -hmm, every time mm -hmm. you give your opponent an opportunity mm -hmm. to make the dice a factor, you you open yourself up to that bad luck, and then vice mm -hmm. versa. If you can, if you can uh, leverage your advantage and say, "All right, I got you. I'm going to roll as many dice as I can at you and see what happens." Sometimes it, it works out. Yeah, and actually, if you look at, I've done a little bit of statistical analysis of all the game results. I've got. I mean, I think there's close to two and a half million dice rolls in Lady Luck now since we've been using it for four years. And the overwhelming evidence is that the more red dice you roll, the better your chances are of winning. That makes sense. O overwhelmingly. The like, you want to learn one lesson about winning X-Wing? It's just roll more red dice than the other guy. <laughs> Throw more punches. That's... <laughs> and uh, well, if you read between the lines, it's what you just said. Avoid getting shot. And shoot at the other guy as much as you can. Yep, yep, yeah, that's that's awesome. Well, uh, I want to, again, one more huge thank you to our players who played. Great game. Uh, we're going to hook you up with another game next Friday, maybe two. We'll see. If not, if we can't find a specific uh, scheduled game, we will, uh, you know, we'll just pander around uh, in Vassal. But whatever, whatever happens, I will... I'll be back. I'll definitely have uh, Ricky and Lyle back on in the future. You guys Best are Best Twitch cast in A. That's right. So, uh, the, so uh, you guys go ahead. Do do your outro, and then I'll do my outro, and then we'll go to bed. All I got is Galactic calling it. So that's what for, I want. <laughs> for okay, sure, fine. For uh, for Lyle Hayhurst, better known as Sozin, and for Dion Morales, better known as. 
Dion Morales. Uh, <laughs> D, uh, my name is Richard White, better known as Skeleton Tiberius. Thank you, Galactic Colonnet, and good hunting. Scum and Villainy and Gold Squadron. Out. Peace out. Great gentlemen. Yeah, good one. You you guys lasted the whole mile. I mean it's only eleven